what Lady them are doing in L.A. with the brown bag. Brown bag. Brown bag. Best in here, brown bag. Three, two, one. Season six of the Brown Bag Podcast. Six, 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 six. Yeah. Episode 121, powered by the watch it, the watch, whatever you want to say yeah. it. Yeah. Depends how ESL you are. And we're back. Yeah, we're back. Put this back over there. I'm sorry. Why does Duno get to do that? I think this season it should be Vic. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Because well, like, the watches have been my buddies for a long time. And I used to bug them on set about letting me do it. And they used to get mad when I did like hard sticks. Soft sticks, and I just stopped doing it. But then, you know, they want me to take over. You know, I'm the guy. Yeah, but I think Vic should do it. Okay, but yeah. yeah. She tried. Yeah. Right try, 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 try right yeah. now. Yeah. I would do it, but my arms hurt. I know. <laughs> Thanks to that guy. Yeah. All right, go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Season six, episode 121, Brownback Podcast, powered by The Watch. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, it sounds like so it. good, like Vic. Vic, it's right. so good. Oh, Vic, proud. That Super was straight proud. butt cheeks. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Put that back you should there. do it from now on, Vic. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, he'll get caught. If, if Duno don't mind. Yeah, I don't care. He it's minds. terrible. <laughs> the comments are going to mind. Yeah, Duno does the best. <laughs> <laughs> We're back, though, you guys. Happy New Year. Happy yeah. New Year. Oh, my gosh. It's January. Th- when we're recording this, it's January 9th. Yeah. Yep. Of 2024. Yeah. Not, and then when we drop, it'll be like Jan- uh, January 11th. Yeah. January 11th. How are you like- guys feeling? I like the number 11. It's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Adriana. Happy birthday, Adriana. Hey, Adriana did something that was my favorite. What did she do? Okay, after the podcast, we went to an after party, and I told Duno this. And Adriana is funny because she, like, will come up to you, and, like, she offered me a beer one time, and I was like, hey, you want a beer? And I was like, no, we're doing a thing for the person that passed away. It was really sad. Oh. But. Oh, for my dad? No, it wasn't for your dad. It was for one of the homes, I think. Okay, okay, Um, okay. And so we were at the after party, and she's like, hey, Letty, take a shot. And I was like, oh, I'll take one if you take one with me. She's like, okay. And then she t- takes a shot with me. She says, thank you for taking care of my brother. And I was like, nah, nah, I love your brother. He's like, Shh. and she's like, he's a bitch. <laughs> so, so thank you. And I was like, yeah, pussy ass for huh? And then we got to take another shot. <laughs> so shout out to Adriana. She's a hater. And she's like that. She's like, you know what, Letty, thank you for taking care of my brother. Because yeah. he's a bitch. <laughs> Okay. Like, what a lame, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Adrian. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, the middle one. Yeah, no, yeah. the one that made fun of your stuttering? Yeah, yes, she's the one that yes, made... yes, Oh, I like yes, her yes, too. Yeah, yeah. She's the one that, she's the one that used <laughs> cool. to make me, um, uh, was it called, if I could say the ABCs without stuttering, she'll give me money. <laughs> And he yeah. couldn't. How many times that's why he was grew up poor. I, that, that's why I was like, we're poor. Like, hey, why are we making fun of my family financial state? I thought it was you a new are. year. You are. I said, I said she would give me money if I could say that the ABC without stuttering. And, and then you call my family poor, mom. You're no, like this. you. I didn't say you said. You said we were you, poor. I you, said you. You said that. She had money to give. You just yeah. weren't there to take it. The dollar is a lot. <laughs> Wait, but can you do the ABCs without stuttering now? Go. Yeah. Go. Are we putting money on it? Put some money on it. Yes, I'll put money on it. <laughs> Give me my first. Oh, I don't have my my wallet. Go, go, go. Put some money on it. No, I'm no, I want to shake hands. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Twenty yes, bucks yes. every one of you for you want to keep judging me. I got a dollar. Nah, I, I know he could do it. He could do it. Go. I believe you. Yeah, I believe you. A B C D E F G H I J K R L M. I said L. I said L. I said L. You owe me a hundred. I said L. You owe me a hundred. I said L, but I just corrected my L. You know what I'm saying? I corrected my L. So then you said it twice, so like a stutter? L. Hey, uh, I said uh, It's a Michi Chui. Shout out Michi Chui. Oh, oh Michi Chui. We got a bone to pick with you. We'll we got a big ass bone to pick with you. Bone. All right, all right. Big bone. Um, but yeah, it's a new year. And then you guys' kids also went back to school. Yeah, they just went back yeah. to school. Oh, thank God you guys are happy, huh? Yeah. Well, we love them. We love spending yeah, love time with them. Yeah, yeah, who doesn't? But what I'm saying is like, <laughs> like, like, like there's a lot that comes when, when your kids aren't out of school. And I could be a uh, uh, a judge to that. My sister asked me to take care of Aiden about four times this winter. Yeah, and I said no to all of them. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was three weeks. You probably weren't even doing nothing, huh? Like dirty. Yeah, I like, <laughs> as a parent, I like how we ask. You can say no if you want. If not, it's okay. But I know. <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> that that's me with my little sisters. I'm like, you don't have to, but you like, you kind of have to. Yeah. I'm the older brother. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is I don't get paid. Yeah, you don't pay with the but that's kind of family, family, right? Family. Yeah, 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 family. No yeah. fool, but but like my sister. Well, say pays the ABCs my... without stuttering. Maybe he'll pay you. She she pays. Well, she she maybe she'll pay me. Mm-hmm. Uh, fool. Aiden will pay. She pays. Um, she pays my little cousins. Oh yeah. Oh, so I'm like, it's just me. motivation for them. Yeah, I know, but it's like damn, fool. like Aiden's a lot. Like for some reason, 
One time he slipped over mm -hmm. and he moved my couches around. You know, each couch is like <laughs> set up to where like the control fits exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's guys. And you were like, no, oh. not my ladies. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, now there's gaps when I lay down. Yeah. Because for some reason, I haven't been able to figure out exactly what control yeah. goes where. And it's because Aiden wanted to build the fort. Well, you like couches with gaps. Dumbass yeah. little kid. Yeah, but yeah. not those because they're mine. Okay. I don't touch my own. Let's I mean. get into Sombra Sala. We have Angie, so we're starting off the new season doing Sombra Sala yeah. first. Angelica was good. Because Angie has to get with Marcus. No, I'm, no. I'm joking. Chill, relax. Yeah, yeah. They have to hurry up. Okay, you guys. I have to talk about Ryan Garcia and how scandalous this fool is uh, with his like back to back posts back to back he made yeah. <laughs> so first he goes on ig and he shows a picture of his baby yeah then like it's my first son ever right yeah i'm sorry i'm not looking at you no 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 <laughs> baby girl you that good. it's uh it's his first son he's like welcome him to the world it's what was his name henry leo garcia mm -hmm. henry leo garcia which is a cute yeah. little pose right yeah but then an hour later he goes on the ground turns off the comments and this fool makes a whole statement saying that him and his girl, Andrea, are divorcing. Who just had his baby. Damn. Just had the baby. Yeah. Didn't even wait a day. Literally an hour after he posted that he had a baby that with was her. That horrible. Time. Okay, this, oh. is, this, this is my thing about Ryan Garcia. I've never liked this man so much in my life. Why? He's in Oh, no, here. you're saying liked him so much. <laughs> I've never that liked him That means he so likes much. him. I like him now. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. I'm part of the king he's becoming. Oh, stop. You know? Because but, no, of no, but, but, but uh, low-key, that fool is a little scandalous because Super. it's like... Because, like, this girl probably had a lot of contractions. You know, she's probably... Erp uh, with, with the Erpidex, Erpidex, Erpidex. Epid Epidural. 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 You know make I'm, me stupid. Fuck. Epidural. 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 She probably put the Erpidel because she couldn't, like... Epidural. 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 And she couldn't handle the pain. Yeah. And this fool was like, I'm going to give her more pain. What is Sita? Divorce. I know. But, fool, she... She's good. Fool, she's gonna put child support is on this she? fool, bro. Yes, she's gonna put child support on this fool. Yeah. He's a millionaire. She, oh, the, the, the mom always wins, whether they're bad moms oh, yeah. or, or good moms. Mm. Moms always win, technically, mm. most of the time. Yeah, mm. 90, 98 percent, <laughs> 99. A higher, 99. A higher percentage. It's yeah. definitely a higher percentage, but. You know, she, she's going to win, and I'm there. he's like a super God guy, right? He's like a super, yeah. I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. Uh, yeah, uh, the whole so, time he's like, thank so I'm like, God. So, so I'm, um, I'm assuming that they probably, he's wrong for going to social media right super away. Wrong. Like a, a hour after the baby's born, that's crazy. No, yeah. super crazy. But, the baby was born in December, the, but it was an, af an hour after he posted the baby was born. Yeah, oh, so the baby oh, was so born. It's like after, an hour after the announcement. Damn, so I forgive the baby Ojo and his wife oh a, a straight. <laughs> yeah. Ojo. You post your baby on social media, they're going to get Ojo somewhere. Oh, you're right. Wow. You know what I'm saying? What? Why didn't you tell me that? From Tank. Tank probably oh, gave yeah. the kid Ojo. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but so I'm just, I'm fool, you know what, move on. But like, yeah. in, in your like religious way, you're supposed to stay with one yeah. woman. So What Bible like, verse do you think he's going to be quoting from now on? Oh, that fool needs to quote, I don't know, somebody else. He needs to go. He's going to quote the book that of needs to free. <laughs> He's like, whoa, <laughs> Brent Fires. <laughs> Dog, I just see, like, this is my thing where, like, people just go into, like, this, like, oh, I'm with God. And, oh, oh. Well, and he's he just, not saying he's the God. He's no, saying, no, I'm not. No, Lord. what I'm saying, he pushes that line so much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, God, God. That I'm like, ah, I don't know. You, you're leaving for a reason. You're not leaving mm -hmm. because the relationship was amazing. The divorce. Or she's it's, probably leaving. Yeah. I don't he's know. cracked. Because then 12 hours later after that post, he deleted that post. He took it down. He's like, oh, never mind. I don't she, know. And she posted, I love the way you lie, the Eminem and yeah. and, and Rihanna, Rihanna song. song. Something this happened. Fool, this Something fool happened. With, bro. Is he a Pisces? And I, I don't know what he is, but my thing is. <laughs> Can we find out what his birth, what, like his birth or like his astrology is? Yeah. My thing is he pushes his agenda. Just be honest with yourself, fool. I, like this, I'm the perfect man and I'm with God and all these things. But no, fool, you want to be with the biddies and have fun. Like, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just that, that's only my own thing, right? Yeah. The season we're pushing positivity. Just be yourself, bro. <laughs> don't be, don't, don't push an agenda. Wow. And what Leo. would you tell his girl? Oh, he's a Leo. He's oh, a Leo. He's a Leo, yeah. he's like J Lo. But he's an August don't Leo. Start, don't even okay. start. I'm a July Leo. Yeah. My thing is, my thing is. What I, if he left her and told her, you know what? Life would have been so easy for you if we stayed together. But God gives his toughest battles to his. No. Oh, oh, like, what if you do with that? Like, you, yeah. you need to grow. No. <laughs> You know what's crazy? Somebody told me this um, this year was like, damn, bro, I don't want to be one of God's toughest soldiers. Yeah. This year. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, fool, just come, fool. It's okay to be a kid. Fool, you're young. I mean, he's yeah, not he young. young. He's, he's 25. 25. That's, 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 oh, you're not a kid either. 
But what Let's I'm saying. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah. You're not a kid. In, in I, wow. I'm, I'm, this season, we're telling you oh, like it is. Yeah. Yeah. I pay my taxes. Up. I live on my own. Yeah, so you're, you're not, not a kid. So what I'm, but, but what I'm saying is. <laughs> you're, you're actually but confirming. What I'm saying, but what I'm saying is. What I'm saying is. You guys are enabling because he believes in God and he's a fighter. We're not enabling. Yeah, no, 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 we're is. enabling him. Yeah. You're on his no, side. No, we're not on his like, side. You're saying like everybody, like the yeah, world. Yeah, like, for you're yeah. 25. You're a millionaire. You don't want to be with your girl no more. You're tired of the same <laughs> old thing. Bad. So you want to move on, go to Vegas, have fun, have to party. But he's not young. Yeah, he's not young. That was my thing. Or if you compare 25 to 30, he's young. No, well, yeah, but we're not. We're comparing him being a he's a dad. No, it's 25. Don't be 30. No, no, no. To that point. Just because he's a dad. Whatever if, age, sh shut up, dog. At whatever age, you have a responsibility now because you have children. Th that's his third kid. It started. This is not his like, first rodeo. I I'm sorry, but like the the guy. Imagine him being third kid, Vic. Sorry, third kid, Vic. And you know what? I'm so young. I'm sorry. Let me go. You can't tell the kids you're young, dog. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, but he but doesn't really have saying, the kid problem. No. He has babysitters and nannies. Fool, like. No, he no, doesn't. But... He never won the fight with Tank. <laughs> 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 he doesn't have money like that. Yeah, but still. But not nanny money, The baby mama still have to watch the baby. Yes, exactly. She's getting paid for it. No, she's not. How can she get paid? Yeah, the are divorce will get her paid. The this? divorce will get her paid. Are you telling That's me? Different. Are you That's telling me? Dog, the, when they're together, he doesn't pay her to watch the babies. Yeah, that's. Jorge's not like, hey, thank you for watching the children. Here's two hundred dollars. Hey, what does she do for work? Uh, I have to uh, Google uh, it. Uh, I, I, I have uh, to uh, Google uh, it. What does she, she do for work? Le Le she's his wife. She's his wife for work. Let's be honest. No, she's not. No, she's not. What is First Ryan of all, Shield that's not an occupation. What does Ryan Rex Shields baby mama do for work? She TikToks. Look bad. She's a content She's a what? Content creator. She's yeah. <laughs> Let her be. That's yeah, how they let met. Her be. That's how they met. What are you? Content creator. What are you? Little TikToker. What I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, oh, bro, okay. New Year, I'm going to just shut up. I'm going to shut up. No, 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 no. You think on her W-2, no. she puts, like, her, when she files taxes, no. her <laughs> occupation is Ryan Garcia's wife? I don't even no. know. Okay. Oh, my God. No. She's his dependent. <laughs> Why do you get mad? <laughs> She's not his wife. She's his dependent. Yes. Fool. Okay. Well, okay, this is all I'm saying. This is all I'm saying. So I don't hurt. If they're happy, they're moving on. I love that for them. Yeah. If he decides, yeah. I don't want to be with you. And you know what? Maybe maybe we should give them a that. Maybe he is a man of God and super Christian where he's like, I don't want to be with you no more because I want to live my life and be with other women. Yeah. Even though that's still not a super God Christian thing to do because <laughs> no. he followed that so much. Well, in the Bible, I think the guys had like hella wives. Yeah, uh, you're Muslim. No, but in the, the Bible. In the Bible. <laughs> I never read it. Like that. I see. Kind of I never yeah. read it. <laughs> hey, third time's a charm, right? Hey, and uh, <laughs> that was is, is there people that read the Bible here before? Second baby mama. Anyone read the Bible? Google read the Bible. You read the no. Maximo read the Bible. No, you read the Bible where oh, you can yeah. play Pokemon. You read the Bible. Your <laughs> but ask your question. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Damn, I forgot because I was getting mad about the fact that. But yes. Yeah, he's not a kid. You know what? I'm just. Take, okay, yes, I get what you're saying. He's had responsibility at a very young age. He yes. Was, he's he's yeah, been disciplined since he yes, was a kid. Yes. Yeah. There's, there's no taking that away. Yeah. His young well, and your young, very uh, different. Very different things. You know, yeah. he had a kid. He has kids. He has, he has three. Yeah. Multi-millionaire. Yeah. He has, yeah. probably takes care of his whole family. Yeah, yeah. My thing is, though, he damn near never probably had a nor. He, he, he never really got to live his 20s or his teens yeah. as a normal kid because... Well, that's what you see I, with I a know. lot of... Honestly, like, box, that's a boxer thing. Because yeah. they have a lot of kids and different baby... Like, Anelo has different kids with different baby mamas. Some were born at the same time. Like, but that's low-key their life. Yeah. I know, but... but the thing but, about Canelo, he doesn't, like, put, like... It's like God is not part of his marketing, and that's what's starting to get uh, old with Ryan. Yeah, it doesn't. That, it's that's starting the only to feel like a it. marketing ploy. Like, it's like, with God and this and that, but it's like... Did God tell you to leave your wife? Like God, right yeah. after, you know what I'm saying? It's like but my thing. <laughs> my thing with that is like, yeah, I, that's that's the thing I don't like when it's being pushed. Like, God, you're everything, but then who? You do all these. But things. who posts their kid one hour and the next hour announce their their divorce online? Someone Ryan? that has been hit in the head. <laughs> or he had a schedule, <laughs> like, right? schedule post. That was some. Yeah. Or, he had or, scheduled post and or, he posted the wrong day. He had day. scheduled post. It was the next day that was supposed to drop. Post. Or he's hey, doing. Happen. Or that's some new generational shit. You're his age. You tell us. That's some shit some people I know would do that are my age. I I, I personally wouldn't put my You do that all the time. Whenever you get mad at your girl, I'm single now. You're so yeah, but I'm not, but yeah, but I'm not pushing the agenda off. I'm a man, God, man of God. Oh, man. So that's your problem. Ryan Garcia, be honest, fool. You want to go out, live life, and you don't want to be with your girl no more. God didn't make you break up with your wife. Yeah. No live. one said he that, though. He didn't say that. He be, that would put a God quote in there. 
He, he, he put something with God. That's only my that's my only thing. Leave God like, out of this. Like God bless you. <laughs> leave God out of yeah, this. Yeah, leave it like, out that post. Just completely. Yeah, just he deleted it. it. Yeah, I love you, God. Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm happy for him. Live life. Live your twenty. You can. Yeah. You haven't got to live them. You probably don't have in a very long time. You lost. You got hit in the rib. It probably still hurts. Yeah. Live life, bro. Go have fun. Go drink some whatever you want yeah. to do. Live it up. For you're rich. You're gonna be rich forever. You're a great fighter. Have fun. Take care of your kids. Yeah. Pay your baby mama. You gonna have to pay her at court. It is what it is. You're fine. He's great. You think he's fine? Mentally, yes, <laughs> yes. What about physically? Oh, I don't know. It ripped my hurt. Fool. Like, I forgot shocked really hard. I seen yeah. the recap the other day. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Because no. Angie, we we're talking about and Angie said pobrecito Ryan. Yeah, then I'm like, oh, but what? If, what was you that? only say that because he looks <laughs> like how he looks. <laughs> I said pobrecito. something pobrecito. Now he's all alone. It's he's... Oh, <laughs> see, is that look, crazy? See, that's why he is the way he is. Like you're shooting your shot at yeah. Ryan. I'm not. Yeah. I am. You guys Very shoot your happy. shot at Cardi B, at Shakira, no, at Becky no, 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 G. No, 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 no. Get your back, sis. I'm not trying to shoot my shot. I'm oh. not gonna do that. Okay, I'll We're being honest this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're not trying to shoot your shot. No. Okay, cool. Very in a, very Ryan Garcia, movie. live life, burrito. Live and life. What, yeah, what's his girl's name? Let's Drea. show her. Andrea. 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 Yeah. Andrea X Garcia. <laughs> uh, Is her name uh, Andrea or Andrea? Andrea, she goes by oh, Andrea. Oh, she goes by Andrea. Andrea, live your life too. Move on. Find somebody that's going to, you know, love you for who you are. Step in. Yeah. As a content creator. And, you know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you, girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. Live life, baby girl. Ryan Garcia, live it up. I don't know you want to hang Have out. Have you seen her? Yeah, she's bad. Yeah. yeah. She's a baddie. You would shoot your shot, Have you seen her at Reggaetonlandia? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure. She, I, I mean, she's like she's with, Christian too. Get with her, but you have to fight Ryan. Would you do it? Oh, in a street ball, a street brawl. Uh, not, uh, not a boxing match. How many people? A boxing match? I'm not fighting him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With a couple street, of the homies, street, yeah, back street out. Street no, you're not jumping him. <laughs> street oh, brawl. No, no, no. No, no. Any, no bro, any rules? Any bro, rules? Bro, training since he was like two years old. Yeah, yeah. but it's for. That's when you gotta yeah. bring out the steel chair and shit. Uh, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. nah, nah. She has three no. kids. She already come with a burden. Two nah, cool. kids. <laughs> they said three. Oh. Somebody said three. He has three kids, but with a, uh, one baby. What did you one say? One. Oh, he has two baby mamas. He has two baby yeah. mamas. No, oh, oh, this is not a man of God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had too many mamas. Mama. Shout out with... to all the women with kids. She you are a burden. You are fine. <laughs> For and me, believe I me, if a guy like Duno thinks you're a burden, you're great. You're oh, fine, girl. You are my okay. Is my what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, my core. What, you feel me? That's just, that's just. It's not you. Okay, thank you for so much, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. But shout out to Ryan Garcia, the girl. Don't believe you guys figure it out. And you know what? It'll be dope to see them now go to court and figure out something cordial. That's always like the best. Yeah. For some reason, I've seen that recently with, uh, with people I know, with some people I know. Yeah. And they were like, nah, bro, we decided, you know, like, handled we don't want to put the kid yeah. through that. And they handled it. They meet up somewhere. The grandma picks the baby yeah, that's up. More responsible. And I was like, that's dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So shout out. I really love you. Doubt that's going to happen. Okay. Thank you, Angie. Thank you for Let the game tell us Ryan's next fight. No. Ah, damn. I thought we were like in the groove where she was gonna just let it out. No, me. no, with all the stuff you talked, I don't even know if I'm allowed inside anything boxing anymore. Like, oh, okay, I was gonna say a joke. All right, all right, thank you, Angie. Um, let's take a little break and then bring. Yeah, that bring right here. Jesus. Right. <laughs> dilly, dilly. Yeah, bring right, right. Okay. And we're back. Yeah. Here we are. New year, new us, right? And we got the homie. Jesus the trainer, Ooh. and we got JP, aka Jorge Peniche, aka Let These Bootang. Let these. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's up? Let these mad. <laughs> I'm not mad, but just I'm not even gonna say it on camera. <laughs> I got this lecture yesterday, you guys, and off the camera it was oh. litty. Oh. I'm just being honest. <laughs> We're honest, 2024. It's not a lecture. 2024, we're being honest, but you guys have been working out without me. It's cool. I feel it. 30 years, 30 and above club. We'll hang out with the boys. We all work together. Yeah, I ain't mad at it. I feel it. You guys you, are having you fun. Join. You should join. Uh, no, because I wasn't invited the first time. So I was. Oh, no, no, but he yeah. hadn't mentioned yet. No. Newsflash. That's, 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 that's not my fault. That's, that's an intervention. No. Okay, well, welcome, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, like Jesus. Well, Jesus, Jesus is nice a trainer. Hey, Ryan Garcia, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so you guys. So, hold on. You've been training with Jesus for a while now. Yeah. Let me tell the origin story. I'll try to give you the abridged version. So, I'm with the boys at the house. We're watching Creed 3. You know, and movies like that, you could either be like, yeah, I'm going to hang it up. Or I'm going to go hard. Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, man, I never really challenged myself to be in no crazy type of shape, you know? And so I'm thinking in my head, like, look, I'm going to put up a post on IG and see if I can find a trainer, right? And then I shower the boys. The, 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 what's it called? The ending credits roll for the movie. I shower the boys. I'm thinking about putting up this post. Then I'm doing the finances in my head, thinking about my overhead. And you know what? I'm like, you know what? I'm going like, to just stick to basketball because it might not be for me for, to have a personal trainer. And I'm not 
you know, looking for no handouts. Lo and behold, didn't post anything. I dressed the boys. Take yeah. out the shower, dress the boys. I go to my phone, as anyone does, checks texts, emails, et cetera, right? I see I have a direct message. Okay, I check it. And it's uh, lo and behold, it's an offer from a personal trainer to, you know, offer their services um, pro bono, you know? And I was like, sounds crazy. Like, yeah. crazy. It's kind of crazy. I mean, that's crazy. crazy. And, then, and then of all things... The trainer's name is Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so if there wasn't a sign, a clear sign, <laughs> what would you like say? That. Yes. You know, so. He's like God. So <laughs> all, all in all, you know, <laughs> as soon as I saw that, you know, I definitely reached out. And, um, yeah, as soon as we can get together to work out, we we, we did it. And, you know, Jesus has been, you know, extremely, uh, you know, a, a huge blessing, you know, to yeah. have in my life. Because, man, I, aside from the fact that he's a really good trainer, this is a re- genuinely good dude, like yeah. for real, like rare, yeah. rare air right here, you know. Yeah. So, those those are the type of people I like to have, regardless, you know, in anything that I do. So yeah. it's dope. He's never called me a blessing. Rare you air. are. <laughs> you are. Here we go. <laughs> So we start roasting between the guys. You get mad, and they don't call you a blessing. You're ah. I, it gets me very anxious. Why? Because you guys started going like. Ooh. It's, nah, it's, it's good. It's good. It's, Look, it's, it's, it's anytime common. anyone asks me like, "What's your most expensive piece of jewelry?" I say this one. This one right here. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, I'm a pony. Hold on, because I never noticed your like i won't say your weight or how you felt but how like do you know the ranges of where you started and where you are now yeah so i our first win was i was teetering at 196 yeah. inching my way to 200 pounds which is kind of worrisome because for the most part you know in my adulthood in my 20s i was like 175 180 maybe push 185 so 196 was kind of worrisome started to look at my face i'm like i'm a little rounder Let's look at my stomach. A lot of shit, I just wasn't really feeling it. So we did our weigh-in. 196 was the first assessment weight-wise. And then, like, about, what were we at? Like, 22 23% body fat initially. Yeah. And, yeah, so, you know, uh, over the ensuing weeks after we, you know, we started working out, you know, started shaving off pounds little by little. Uh, the body fat started to shave off little by little, too. And, you know, to me, that was just encouraging, you know, to see. And, Everybody, you know, at the gym, over at Lucky Athletes, you know, everybody is just, like, on their tip, right. you know, and ranges from different levels of experience and tra- training and working out, which is also encouraging, you know, because you can yeah. go to, like, Muscle Beach or places, you know, that where people, that's all they do, yeah. you know, and you're like, damn, you know, like, um, I'm right, I'm starting right here. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Light years away as humans, we naturally just compare, yeah, like, instantly. So we'll just be like, oh, yeah, that's so not me. There, there's different guys, you know, at the gym. Jesus yeah. can probably elaborate on that more, but, I, you know, there's... So what are you at now? Right now, I am at one, what was the last one? 167. Oh, damn, one, like 30-something pounds. Yeah. And, and like, I hadn't like seen you 10, since... 10% body, body, body fat. fat. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. I hadn't seen you since... Live show. One of the live shows, and then I no 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 I, before that before uh, the twenty third, and then when I seen you that day, like, Letty was telling that you were working out, and I was like, "Is this food making you food? Like you're always out of, you're always like working on some sign or some shit." And I was like, <laughs> "I'm like this food not." But then I seen your post, but I thought it was like what you were doing last time, which one? Like way before you were working out on something else. No, nah, I mean I played like a basketball. while back. No, no, I played basketball just in general. And then you know? and then and then when I seen you at the live show, I was like, oh shit, oh they look skinny as shit. I'm trying to, you know, it makes re- you look younger for sure. I'm trying to reverse father time, you know. That's what yeah, I'm yeah. doing, you know. I, at the be- I still gotta do this, you know. There's a uh, two things. There's the uh, epigenetic age and biological age, right? No. Yeah. So epigenetic age is like your actual age. So my epigenetic is 36, right? And then there's biological. That's no, what your biologi- body. No, biological is 36. Biological 36, epigenetic. So mine at the time before this was, I think uh, I was 26, 26. I was 35 or 26. Like, oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, no, I'm listening, body, I'm listening, I'm listening. so basically means you might live a little bit longer, hopefully. Yeah. So I'm yeah. trying to turn that shit back all the way back. <laughs> now, there's people far more like invested in this. There's like yeah. a guy that, that sold Venmo that spends 2 to $3 million a year like and has like the most streamlined 
system, you know, to stay in shape like and body. healthy. Yes. He's, he's trying, trying to live like, forever. He's trying to live forever? No, that's his, it's for real. Wow. And he, he really believes that, so. Crazy. Yeah. I'm not that far, but yeah. I'm about to do M Sculpt next. Yeah. Oh, this <laughs> week. Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, way I'm too aware. all crazy, all these weird words and crazy words, but yeah, like, what about the people that, science. like, especially Jesus for you, like, I know a lot of people like, new year, new me, 2024, we want to get thin, like, I'm sure they're coming to you. What's like the starting points for you? I always tell people to keep it simple. You know, I mean, I feel like once you've been eight months in the game and working out and shedding a bunch of weight, then you can start looking into all this other crazy stuff that's out there. But I always tell people, start real basic, you know, eat real foods. Like yesterday, I had uh, Vic and Maximo in the gym, and it was like, huh? yo, when it comes to diet, don't even trip about it. Like, eat fruits yeah. if you're hungry. Eat chicken for your lunch. Like, you already know what's healthy. Don't try to go all crazy with it and yeah. do all these things that you see on Instagram. Yeah, like you're eating tofu now. Nah. Yeah. And I then, had a fried tamale over the thing. I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, no, no, no. Nothing. <laughs> everything fried. <laughs> toss it. Um, all right. Yeah, and then just fitness, just move. You know, if you haven't worked out at all, just go for walks. Yeah. Just get steps. Yeah. In, you know, and start walking. Once you start walking, start jogging. Once you start jogging, start running. And just little by What little. do you tell people that think running is boring? Because I know that's like the biggest thing where like, oh, I feel like you're just running forever. And then that's what you would recommend, like a football or a basketball or something of that sort, right? I mean, I would I would even say. Because obviously running is the best, like really cut weight. Nah, not even. Not even. Like I would say like a inc the best thing, like bodybuilders and shit, like to lose weight, they yeah. do incline walks on the treadmill. So oh just, yeah, yeah. Just put on a podcast. Just put on, you know. The brown bag. A movie, the brown bag. The brown bag, know, yeah. Whatever. And just walk incline walk for 30 45 an hour that's literally what they do to cut weight for a bodybuilding show boxers mm. do to burn weight also yeah. so it's, it's more, like, you're saying it's way more simple than we think it's way more simple than we think and that's the thing people overcomplicate it and then they they're defeated before they even start so then mm. they're just like eh, it's yeah it's too complicated that's not for me and especially us as hispanics you know yeah. like we see around us and it's like damn nobody around my circle is doing it so yeah. and then it really seems impossible because they don't know who to reach out to yeah. and for me that's why it was important to reach out to jorge because where my spot's at, I, I think me and him are the only Mexicans in that spot. So it was important to get, yeah, it's just, you know. Caucasian. But, but, but shout out, my, Mike is what? Uh, uh, he's, from he's from Ecuador. So he's Latino. Yeah. Latino. I got one in there. So, <laughs> what's, I'm Mexican, yeah. Full yeah. Mexican. Full Mexican. Where your family from, Guadalajara? Yeah, Zacatecas. So oh, oh, same shit. Yeah, it's the same thing. They're not too far from each other. We, we fly into Guadalajara. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was thinking too, yeah. Yeah, they're white. Um, You're like a Vic. Yeah, I need my epigenetic age to like improve. I want to be a fucking baby. Yo, you turn the <laughs> back. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> yesterday, think about it this way. Yes, every workout you put in turns it back one day. So yesterday, go. you turned it back one day. Okay, okay. okay. Oh. We up. Okay, we okay. Up. so we're ah. We back. More than all of us. Yes. But like, my drinking habits are very bad. Yeah. So, but, but my thing so is you like. you know that it's the drinking then. Yeah, but like I was doing really good last year to where like I was really dedicated, yeah. and then I went through a lot like ending the year off, and then holidays. I know that's like yeah. especially like some people that I, I've bro like today actually I was working out, and there's some guy that was next to me. I was like, bro, I've seen this fool since when we started coming, and he's like swollen now, and he was like, bro, the holidays fucked me up, and he was like <laughs> every day, but he's like he's like bro, as Latinos naturally. A lot of the times, the holidays are the only times we get to spend with our family. Yeah. People fly in, or we go to, or we travel to either Mexico or something like that. Yeah, our yeah. families around yeah. for a long time, so like, oh, you're gonna go to the gym. Oh, I, I mean, es que no quiero estar conmigo, verdad? And then you <laughs> go through these phases of like yeah. feeling guilt. So then they yeah. hang out. You eat recalentados damn near for yeah. weeks. Facts. So and then Latinos, we every chance we get to drink and have fun, we're gonna take it. So Thanksgiving is really a whole week damn near, and Christmas is really the twenty third. To the end of the year, cause somehow you're gonna spend it with like like I didn't celebrate Christmas with my family till the 28th. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. my sisters have husbands and they gotta go with their family yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. So, but I, I think, totally feel that. I think it's important. That's why it's important to have somebody that keeps you accountable and also can give you these. Uh, you yeah, know, for sure. These tips, like for example, you know, I'm I'm Mexican too, so tamales and all that stuff went down during the holidays. But there's way you can do it so that you can not mess yourself up that bad and not just go off the rails completely. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I was having tamales and I'll just put like an egg on top. So add some protein or whatever. And, yeah. and then that'll, that'll keep. Yeah, bro, I definitely had that over the, on, on yeah, a yeah. Sunday. <laughs> yeah. So then you just add more protein and then the tamal at the end of the day is the carb, you know, like last week we were talking about one carb, one protein, one vegetable, every single meal. So if I'm having, you know, my mom's pozole or whatever, it's like I go heavy on the meat that she has up in there, the vegetables and just a little bit of the little. The granos. The maiz. The, yeah. Yeah, the maiz. Yeah. yeah. So, there's weight, and that's why if you have somebody in your corner, 
Uh, I mean, maybe stick from. It's hot Cheetos <laughs> and ceviche. Well, and what is what is the eighty twenty rule? Now, I always tell people if you want to eat something, and then like that's that, <laughs> eat it before a workout. That's the only time you could have a cheat. That's like a good way to like. Okay, you're gonna have it. It's gonna give you a little boost because you ate something good. That you Every enjoyed. once in a while. Damn, I might throw that shit up. <laughs> <if I laughs> see, I'm like, <laughs> see, I'm like good for Cheetos like, on the way. You know what's crazy? The, the I, I, bro, I, I give people my respects that could eat breakfast before going to the gym. Cause I feel like I'll just feel more guilty and I'll just go hard. I might throw that shit up. So I'm like, bro, last time I saw my homie, he posted a whole, like his girl made him a big ass breakfast at like 9 a.m. At 10, he was at the gym and I'm like, bro, your, your metabolism might work super fast. Cause my shit gonna stay in there for a minute. I might not shit till two, three hours later and it's over with. I might throw it up. No, that's super, cause everybody's bodies works different. Like That's why, yeah. that's why that, that's another problem with like social media. Everybody looks at their favorite fitness influencer and is like trying to pick up game from them. And it's like, they're posting, oh, what I had for breakfast today, what I had for lunch today. That works for them. That's not gonna necessarily yeah. work for me. That's not gonna work for you. Right. So it's about finding somebody that you can, you know, really have a conversation with and really knows you pers on a personal level yeah. that can really put you on game. Whose expectations, and you have to be completely honest because that's what we are doing this year, 2024 on the Brown Bag Podcast. <laughs> Who do you see that's more motivated from Maximo and Vic? Let's just be, and you gotta be honest, be honest with them. One day working out. I, I mean, it's been one day. I have no, a question so too. Did you do the the thing where you measured their body weight and their their Body fat percentage? Yeah. Yeah. What is what was that like for you guys? I'm thick. You thick? You wait, wait, wait. thick you guys, I'm thick. At what time, what time did you guys do that? I'm gonna be honest because I, like, I wanna hold my Like at eleven then, then it probably wasn't accurate because nah, you were probably drinking. Up. No, because he was probably drinking coffee in the morning. He eating, probably ate breakfast eating, at the, at the I station. Did, I did, but Chief, either, you gotta do it when you don't have anything. It don't matter. Once you wake up, it's still way too high. Okay, so two hundred pounds? Okay. Two hundred pounds. That's that's a lot. Yeah, if we have a lean hundred pounds. And then I know <laughs> <laughs> hanging out with the rest of the Um and thirty percent body fat. Okay. okay. That could be shaved. But that's that's works, big that's big, but like to me that's like it's an eye opener because like I don't hop on those machines. Right. And you would never know had you not done that, right? Yeah, I mean you, you know, I like I knew I was thick, but not that thick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. What about you, Maximo? I was at one seventy five and I think it was like thirty percent yeah. as well. Okay. So is that so is that good and bad? If he's two hundred and he's thirty and he's one seventy five and thirty. Which one's worse? At, if, the end, at the end of the day, it's the body fat that we look at, right? Like, yeah. the, the weight's going to... So, technically, they're both the same size. To your body. Ah, okay, 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 so, okay. Yeah, it's basing it off of your body size. And so, at the end of the day, you know, 30%, mm -hmm. we definitely need to get that yeah. closer to... I always told... When I when Jorge first started, I told him, yo, the goal's always going to be 15. I mean, he's at 10 now, but... Push Hey, you're getting on a red chick, we need a... <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. What I do you eat, I, though? What do you eat? Cause I don't let people cook. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, she cooks. She, 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 threw, she threw down spaghetti. She threw down spaghetti. Nah. What uh, ten? Just follow the principle. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, you know, at first he was very, very, very adaptable and lenient. But I was like, look, if you're gonna be so generous with your time and your expertise, I gotta, you know, do my part. And that's not only working out. Unfortunately, you know, you yeah, gotta, yeah. the diet is a huge component. Not for sure. We've all learned it when we, and whenever we worked out. And then we eat some bullshit. Yeah, yeah okay, so like this is my never thing. Levels out. So this is my yeah. thing. How much um, our eating with Jorito did he have to cut off with all the, with all the, with, <laughs> I mean, no, with all no. the desserts you guys used it to It still take. works. It still works. <laughs> they eat, no, but you guys used to eat a lot yeah. of dessert every we day. We go to Erwan. I love Erwan. He loves Erwan. Super, 40 bucks up, up yeah, a little yeah. boy is crazy, but I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I did it the other day, 80 bucks. I was like, no, my man's way. <laughs> Literally. But, but you pay for like, it now or you pay for it later? Ooh, that's that's that's, that's true. But when I was doing, you know what? The first time I went to Erwan, shout out my boy Bradley Martin, huge in the in the in the fitness world, and he's like, bro, we gotta go to Erwan. I was like, what is that? He's like, it's a super like advanced Trader Joe's. I went in there, <laughs> bro. I he paid for mine and his, and it was like a hundred and something. I was like, god damn, it's crazy, man. And I'm not mad at I it. I wanted bro. to go, but somebody got shot there the other day. Did you guys see no. that at the Erwan? <laughs> Which one? The one oh, by the Grove. The Grove one. But it's someone got shot the there. Grove. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh shit! I gotta go in a metal vest. One? I, I, I literally was gonna go in there and I was like driving by and I was like, I was like, ah, never mind. Say, Somebody got shot. They're probably like forty dollars for a shirt. Like, I'm gonna go to one, <laughs> silver yeah, one in Silver Lake. There's one in Silver Lake. See, but that's that, cool. Yeah. See, but the bad thing about it is that then people start to think, oh, I can't eat healthy because it's too expensive. Fuck. And then yeah. that's mm. when, that's unless, unless, unless you got your homie Felix that you met at at the other one, and he comes through with the thumbprint and with the hookup. Hey, hey, Loki, hey, Loki, the Loki. This for my turkey. Which spot is that? He used to hey, be at the one. Follow me. He used to hey, be hey. at the one at the Grove, and now he's in Pasadena. I said, I've, I was just like, I went in the morning to go get my food, and I'm like, Oh, Pasadena's not I too said, far from you guys. Yeah. Ah, that's, that's, that's too bad. All right.
Damn, marijuana is sick. So that brings me to a really good question for you, Jesus. Um, how do you eat healthy and on a budget, like being poor and being healthy? I mean, honestly, it- for me, I, I eat ground beef every meal pretty much mm-hmm. unless I'm eating out. So, like, that's super cheap. I buy yeah. at Trader Joe's. It's probably like five bucks, and it serves me like three meals. Mm-hmm. Wow. Damn. So, like, you do, you do ground beef. You do chicken, you do eggs, all that stuff. You're buying it at Ralph's, you're buying it at right. Trader Joe's. It ain't that expensive. If you're cooking for yourself, you could do it on a budget. It's when you eat out. I think that's when. What type happens. of rice? Because I'm a big rice guy. Any no rice. rice? Any rice? Any okay. Rice. I, I prefer white rice. It's easier for your body to digest. So a lot of people really? say, oh, brown rice. Brown yeah, rice. Brown this whole time I thought it was brown rice. That's my problem. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a TikTok. No, it's because it's brown rice, then tortilla, then bread, then like rice? just uh, fun. 15%. So you're saying stick to the white? I mean, I don't say. I'm white. Stick White. white is right. <laughs> white is right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's more important that you just pick one. So okay. You know, okay. Okay. Rice, to that. No tortilla. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna name a couple Jeez, restaurants that's, that's hard. That, that I'm gonna name a couple fast food restaurants that have somewhat of a protein side of the things. You just let me know yes or no. I just want you to tell All me because right. this is like my this is my scapegoat. Like pollo loco. Yes. Chipotle. Yes. Salads from Chick Fil A. Yes. <laughs> oh, Yoshinoya. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yo, Jorge, I'm so happy. Yo, Jorge, it's your shit here at 9 a.m. <laughs> Listen, if there's no yellow vest in there, I don't want it. You know, yeah. that's when, that's, we get it that's early. When you know, know, that's when, when you know they're bringing fired. out the fresh batch. Yesterday, yesterday with Vic and, uh, Vic and Maximo, we were also talking about like, because they were saying, oh, for lunch, we usually eat out. And it's like, yo, Thanks. okay, that's cool. We can figure that out. It's not about, hey, I need you to go home and buy chicken breast and buy yeah. broccoli. Yeah. Because none of that's going to last. I don't even do that. I have a question. I was, I don't I just got the random thing. <laughs> Should I be pescatarian? This is a genuine question. I'm not trying to be funny. Like, I was just thinking, I'm like, maybe I could do it. It's just nah. fish. Pescatarian nah. just, is just, just fish. Just fish, no. I mean, uh, again, if you have, like, food sensitivities, like if red meat makes you feel bad. No, not at all. I love all bad. that. Nah, <laughs> so there's, no, there's... Yeah. there's is it gonna like make make my progress move faster? Nah, Nothing. Nah. No, and then there's connect with it. Just working. And you got mercury. All that mercury. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Certain okay. fish have high. So be so so already yesterday. It's important. <laughs> I hate no, that. No, no, no. Mercury, you have mercury. <laughs> one Ooh, one of the homies that. lost hella weight because I'm vegetarian, but that's just him. That's probably his body. I have a body. question. Um, have you ever dated a girl that was not fit, but you're fit? Cause you, cause you've been fit since like high school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was definitely a thing with my girlfriend and I. You know, she she felt like I, at one point, would have wanted somebody that was in the fitness industry. Yeah. But for me, I, I, I'm already, like, super obsessed with what I do. So, like, it's actually nice. I mean, she works out, don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But she's not, like, obsessive with that, yeah. uh, about it. So, for me, it's, it's nice to have someone that can kind of calm me down. Because sometimes I'm, like, you know, I'm trying to help normal people be fit. So if I'm living my life in this way that's like just to the extreme, mm-hmm. that's not really helping anybody. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, can't really feel bad she's about them. Like yeah, drinking anything. like raw egg in, in the cup. Yeah, so for me, yeah, I, can, raw egg. I, I totally feel that because I'm like talking to a girl that like is way buffer than me, and she's like at the house and like just like I'm like, all right, for chill. Like, Everyone, cut up vibes. Everyone try to be with the girl that worked out. That's right. Um, yeah, oh, that one was different. No, because girls but like I think, gym a lot like me. You'd be surprised. I think they wouldn't like me. I think they would like like a fit guy. I don't, you think really they? Would like but I think. Pay yeah, pay I would honestly shake. think. I would honestly see. Yeah. See, but this is my thing. Like <laughs> they like we like projects. Is apparently maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe. But I yeah, I mean, I like that. I like that. But so oh, so, Chick Fil A is cool. We don't know. Oh, Jorge, I, I will look up. I will look up. Check you. Oh, In and Out. In and out, yeah. yeah. Well, he said in and out. That is one though, right? No, 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 no. So look, like that's like actually that. one that Jorge hit me up when yeah. he uh when we first started working together. He was at In and Out with his kids after the dentist. And he was like, yo, what can I get on this menu? So the bad things at In and Out is is gonna the be animal a fries? sad. The cheese and the spread. So like if you get oh, oh, my favorite oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, and, <laughs> that was Those my first my job too. That, that was my first job, and I used to eat a burger every day because I would work five days a week, and I would yeah. get a burger every and day. And you guys always got paid the best. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It was a good job, but uh, yeah. So if you get a double burger with the bread, ketchup, and mustard instead of the sauce, you're straight, and you can't eat the fries though. I feel that. I feel like I need somebody. <laughs> she got, I need somebody you that... eat the fries if you do the lettuce wrap. Yeah. Poor loco. I, I was like, I remember some lady being like, lady used to go in there every day, get three wings with broccoli. And the corn every day, and she was seventy. She I swear to God, she like she was forty. Yeah. Every day she would eat three pieces wow. of wings, a water, broccoli, and corn, and she like this is what I eat every day. Thank you for the recipe. And she like I'm retired, 
She's like, but I love the wings. I'll wait here in 50 an hour, 30 minutes, and she, bro, she look good. Yeah, that's what they say. Health is wealth, man, and I think she look good. Why. I would have cracked her. <laughs> 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 She's a good looking lady, but she ain't Paul Loco. And I remember Paul Loco like the bowls is good. I ate a bowl yesterday. You yeah. Know. I have to tell you too, because Angie, when you when you came over the studio, Angie asked a really good question. And for girls, working out is a little harder. Like you guys go and it's it's like a guy club, right? Oh. Sometimes it's harder for girls because guys have their testosterone all the way up. They could be creepy. And I think Angie uh. asked you about like being like if people either ever think you're creepy or you've seen other guys be creepy to girls and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the gym is an intimidating place. And that's why you've seen gyms pop up for women that are like, oh, women only. Mm -hmm. And it's like mm -hmm. makes women feel a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot of people also they you don't have to connect the gym as the only way to move. You know, I think for girls, if you're. If you're intimidated by the gym, there's other ways to go about it. You know, you can go for hikes. Wow. That'll be a great way to get you in shape. You can. Yeah, uh, you said the kitchen. That's crazy. The what? <laughs> the kitchen. kitchen. Walk to the kitchen yeah. and walk back. <laughs> <laughs> walk to the like this. <laughs> I like this. Clean yeah. the house. Clean the house. Clean the house with ten you know, you know, how, many, how many calories do you burn when you clean the bathroom? <laughs> hey, add some weights to the how mop. Many we all want to know. Ah. Value information. Hey, add weights to the mop. <laughs> add weights to your apron oh, when you're walking distance. Oh my god. No, do not, do not. Give me hey, the, okay, okay. This is my thing, though, right? Okay, and 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 Angie and and and, 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 and Angie. A smaller mop for more reps. Go ahead, go ahead, Angie. Go ahead, camera. Go ahead, camera. No, but look, but look, but look. This is my thing. So I was having this conversation again with a good friend of mine, Bradley Martin, and I feel like, like yes, women, I totally understand. There is some fools that are super creepy, and and the, but also like if I'm here, right, and I'm on a bench, and you're on a bench, and I give, and I turn to my right, and somehow you're squatting, and your camera's there, and you go on TikTok and go like, he was looking at me. Yeah. What am I? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so Curve. like I, I definitely get the lady aspect, but like I think as humans naturally we're just always looking at things. And it's not like, obviously, if a girl's walking by and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's different. But like, yeah. if I'm waiting for the squat rack and I'm looking at you because I'm like, oh, she's almost done with her set. Do you wait for the squat rack? Yeah. Yeah, guys do squats. Okay, so <laughs> since you own a gym, like, what is it that you do specifically to like maintain Minimize, that, like, like good environment so that everybody feels comfortable? Yeah. I, I started off working at a big gym. Yeah. And for me, it's like, I always try to go over the top to make them feel comfortable. So like nice. um, people have talked about like their trainers asking them for before and after pictures and like yeah. doing it in like your underwear and stuff. And for me, I'm like, yo, you guys could keep all that stuff for yourself. Like I have a scale here. It tells you your body fat. It tells you that kind of stuff. Mm. I don't need to see any of that kind of stuff. before and after for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So I think for me, I always go on the defense, even when it comes to like spotting someone. You know, I think yeah. I, I make sure I grab a towel and I'm like using the towel. See, see, but that's see, but like, but like guy no, right no, here. no, no, I, guy. I, I, and, and, no, 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 I get it, I get that, but that's like also that's like not letting him like. Okay, so what if the towel slips and you're slippery <laughs> and she breaks her whole neck because she was scared you didn't want to grab her her arm fat? Like, come on, we gotta be honest too. Like, I get it, we wanna, you know what I'm saying? But like, arm let's fat. just be honest. Like, we we don't all wanna fuck you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a good trainer, he's a good guy, he has a good heart. He's married. Like, he's not married. Oh, are you single? No, 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 no I'm not single, not but I'm not married. He, but you have a, you have somebody that you go home to. Yeah, yeah. So he does, you know what I'm saying? Ladies, go with him. He's they a great. He has a oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> hey, let's not disclose so many details. This is about. Working out. I'm, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, as a good trainer, like. The chat said if you ever get hit on. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's a normal part about being a trainer. Don't fall for it, fool, because they might cancel you. But, but it's that, again, I, I now work in like a small, I, I have my own spot now, right? So yeah. most people find me on Instagram or referrals. It's, it's not like you just walk into a random gym and right. you just got a bunch yeah. of walking. It's looking you know cut. I mean? it's it's cut. cut. We posted you, for real. posted you on our Instagram and then, because you were on the treadmill. And then someone DM was like, I'll get on there just to chase after him. And I was like, wow, <laughs> this is objectifying. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, see? See how, yeah. He, see how he feels? Look at him here, making him nervous. <laughs> He's a great man, bro. He has a great heart. And you're, they're over here subjecting him. Who, who's this lady that maybe we should expose her on TikTok? No. Yeah. You have to find the homie I, right here. I, I know her. Oh, it was your name. Oh, it was your name. Whoa. <laughs> Definitely don't let her go to your, your You don't even got to go too far. <laughs> but she's going to run there from Boyle Heights. <laughs> she might get shot on the way, but she'll be okay. <laughs> oh, you're worth that, fool. You're worth that. But that's, but that's dope. Um, what is something that you still hate about working out, even though you're obviously in love like with the, it has to be one workout or a certain thing that you're like, 
fuck today's this, this day, but I gotta do it. Yeah. Honestly, I hate the fact that I gotta keep doing it for the rest of my life. That's, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the thing. It's like it, this is never gonna stop. You know, like yeah. I guess if if you're like trying to build a business, you get to a point where you don't have to work anymore because you yeah. hopefully built enough money that you don't have to work. Yeah. Working now, you gotta wake up, eat the same stuff, work out again. But at the end of the day, it's like you know. You got to just do it. But you know yeah. what? You know what? There's a lot of boxing coaches, and I'm pretty sure Letty and Yelin could have, like, they're super unhealthy and fat as shit, but create some of the best. Well, uh, a, lot of, a lot of coaches are in general. Yeah, I'm saying just a lot of coaches nah, in general. But, but it's different. It's different. Like, Eddie's bigger. They show technique. They don't do yeah. the work out. No, but then I'm, I'm pretty sure they train them like how to how to cut weight and stuff like that, right? Nah, because they have trainers and all. Oh, they have different they type have of different trainers. Coaches. Also, they oh, tra- they're just boxing trainers. They have. They're you, just... you ever watch an episode of All Access? They have like a dietitian. Yep. Plan. They have different. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, it's, it's you're, like, right, you're, it's, right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's like a head coach, right? And then it has like the oh, the assistant, the assistant coordinator, this and that, like that. Uh, okay, never mind. For you guys, stay fit forever, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, but can't stop, won't stop. I was watching how Arnold Schwarzenegger, like he looks at himself in the mirror now, and he gets so depressed because like the body he had when he was young and he would always work Uh, out and it's like no matter how much i worked out back then it's not serving me right now like i still look crazy now wow i mean he started in tamales yeah Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) from his housekeeper (laughs) (laughs) hey and look it was the best tamales the watermelon one i ain't hey look i knew he had a, a latina baby mama when he was talking spicy about Latino women, he was like just off the cuff, like at random, random as a governor, right? Then, then you felt. And him. then I was like, he must have a baby mama somewhere. <laughs> and then I saw, and then I saw a front page of like I think National Enquirer, and I yeah. see like this little Latino Arnold, and I was like, I was right, bro. He looks exactly like him <laughs> yeah, too. Exactly. Only Damn. his other kids. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, so now you're fit forever for it. it. It is what it is. Yeah. I mean, you gotta just. And then I just think about it like, damn, they'll start coming to the gym, so that's the only way I make money. Yeah. I gotta Fit, mm. fit life to the next life. You're not too far from me. I might have to go do a little boot camp. Please do it. Yo, well, I think wait, what the fuck? I'm not dying. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, join. I'll, I'll probably pull up, but like, I don't really want to work out with Vic and Max. Vic's always on his phone, huh? No. Uh, nah. Mm. It's, it's rest period, so you can do whatever you want during the rest periods. Yeah, Vic's terrible. Well, I put my phone to the side. Hey, what are rest periods? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first day. Yeah. It's the first day. <laughs> um, yeah. One time, me and Vic were doing, uh, we're doing back, and it was like his first time. But Vic's like old, so he still has like the the headphones with the wires. <laughs> no, so I got it. Was like, no, I got so it. It was like now. getting stuck to the machine, and he was like <laughs> trying to keep up with a girl from three hours away, and he and and, and Dallas, and he was like doing a couple a couple different things, and I was like Vic. I'm like, Vic, we got to finish this workout. He's like, hold on, hold up. He's like choosing a new playlist, and it's just <laughs> terrible. He's terrible. But I'm, I'm pretty but, sure but this he's doing amazing he's now. He's just probably. telling me what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just like right there. All right, do this now. Do this now. Do this. I don't even have headphones. It's like playing on the loudspeaker. Mm. Yeah, different environment. Okay. You know, we talked about like protein shakes and like uh, a lot of people are doing pre-workout now. And like, is that necessary? Like, we have a nephew. He's 17. Don't and he was like talking it. to us about doing pro program. I'm like, you're young, like your energy is enough. But are you seeing people like go too crazy with the supplements or like what would you say for that stuff? I mean, I think uh, supplements are a supplement to an already healthy lifestyle, right? So I think people need to start with the basics, right? So eating clean food, like I gave Maximo and Vic, like I like using that as a reference because it's a real right. life example of what we were talking about yesterday. We talked about having a protein bar for breakfast, but it's not because I say, oh, protein bars are the best thing to eat for breakfast. It's because they wake up super early. They got to be somewhere. So if you're in a rush, a protein shake is completely reasonable for you to eat. But if you have time to eat, if you have time to eat, eat. Eat. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think and then when it comes to pre-workout, especially when you're 17, pre-workout gives you energy. Like when you're 17, you don't need anything to get you. You know, like if you want something, get a cup of coffee, maybe even drink a soda. I mean, as a 17 year old, you know what I mean? Like don't start putting all those supplements. If you look at the back, it looks like a science experiment on those things, yeah. you know? So I drink C4. Is that terrible? Terrible. Oh my it's, God. I mean, <laughs> God, awful, terrible. I think I think it's it's one of the better <laughs> ones out there that's not as crazy. Because there's other ones that hey, whoa, whoa, like, whoa, whoa, first of all, first of all, I'm being judged right now. Hold on. And in and, 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 and a safe space, and I don't like it. <laughs> Hold on. Let's C4. make that very clear. Let's make that very clear. It's a safe space, remember? I got a lecture yesterday, so let's make sure it's safe space. Oh, Hold on. Producers. I can tell you anything. Hold on, C4, if you want to sponsor this podcast. <laughs> Dude don't love C4, but I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I'm, I, I try to cut it off for a while because I felt like I was just drinking it just because I drank it before. 
It, it makes yeah. you yeah. feel like you got needles it's, on your it, it, it makes, you know? oh, I don't like that feeling. And, it makes and, me and feel oh, bro, he drags crazy. him. He drags him. He was mad as shit for like an hour. <laughs> I'm like, bro, just go run it off. <laughs> I'm just Look, all like tickly it's, and it's shit. It's literally a, a scoop of powder like this big, and it's like you drank three cups of coffee in that one thing. And a lot of people uh, don't know that. So then a lot of people, they take it. And if you're 17, you know, if you start taking enough of it, people's like eye starts twitching. And yeah. bad yeah. stuff can happen to your heart from that stuff. So I think... Damn. I mean, I mean, damn near is kind of like how people used to be over addicted with a lot of like energy drinks. Yeah. Like Brian is this guy that would buy a certain energy drink and he would just walk up to the to the homies like to the homies mom's store and his like hand would be shaking. I was like, bro, you're going to die. Yeah, for real. Cause it's the same dope. But just repackaged. That's it. Ooh. The same bar. Dope, man. So I think I think yeah, people to, to answer that question, I think people need to take care of uh, be careful when it comes to supplements, because I feel like there's a lot of stuff out on the market and especially people are just always constantly trying to pump new stuff out. Yep. And I think, again, start with the basics, start with real food first. And if you really want to start taking supplements, talk to somebody that, you know, knows the knows the game a little better. Damn. Where can they talk to you? What's up? Where can they talk to you? Uh, social media. I think that's the best way. Um, and if you're local, pull up to the gym and we can see what we can do. Yeah, use code brown bag. Say, 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 say your social media. Yeah, say your social media. Uh, Seuss LA. So Seuss.LA. Um, spelled S E U S S dot L A. Man, we're shout out Seuss. He came to give us some knowledge. Yeah. He can't learn in college. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go do it, yeah. I'm 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 Let's also go. like You're the most low key, you're the most active. Yeah, I have a lot of energy food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the gym earlier cool. today. <laughs> What's your workout program look like? Um, it depends. Right now, um, my my knees really messed up, like super, super terrible. So, uh, yesterday I did back. Today I did um, arms, and then tomorrow on my legs, and then I think Friday I'm swimming in the morning. That's good. And then, well, no, Thursday I'm playing softball at night. I entered the softball do league. So Thursday I'm playing softball, and then tomorrow um, I'm doing legs. Friday I'm swimming, and then. I'm like taking a little life, so I might not do the weekend for sure. Saturday, for sure, not Sunday. Yo, I think I think if anything, it seems like you got the workout pro program going. Yeah, going well. I think with the knee, helping you out with that, just because I feel like a lot of people when their shoulder starts to hurt, the knees hurt. It's like, oh, I can't work out because yeah. Hurt. So I think if we could show people that you know you could work through something like that and yeah. what to do to fix something like that, it'll be a good educational. Yeah, no, no, I, I no, yeah, for sure. Cause I'm I'm going to the chiropractor and I'm getting massages twice a month. For like my whole left side is super fucked up, so yeah. I took tomorrow is my first time doing leg again. Yeah, and, and then softball on Thursday night. <laughs> I'm at adult league. Fucking Ken Griffey over here. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, okay, Sammy Sosa. The big hurt. Cause see, and and look, I think it's it's to be honest, like like Duno's the most active. He also is the part, the one that parties the most, right? Is there a way you can do both, like, yeah. and it be good, like that you could party, you could drink. But you could still like be fit. Yeah. So the 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 easiest like advice, alcohol wise, what's the, the best? The easiest advice I would give for something like that is if you're gonna stay out late drinking, don't eat bad that night. So for example, yes. you can't do both. You can't do both. Mm. You can't you know eat a burger, go out and party, and then end up at Jack in the Box at night. Like that's what oh, I would do. That's my routine. I, was, I mean, that's what I was do what I was doing when I was younger. <laughs> yeah. You know? And everybody that I grew up with still does it. Yeah. But then that's when you start packing on the weight. It's yeah. not, that's it's not necessarily the drinks, because you could also just do like a tequila soda, a vodka soda, that kind yeah. of stuff. But it start, you start making like the sugary margaritas, you start doing all that kind of stuff. And then on top of that, you end up at Jack in the Box at two in the morning. You that's you're done. It's because it's so, it different at that hour. They don't yeah, sell no. salads at that hour, too. Just yeah. don't eat. Go to sleep. You're <laughs> drunk anyways at that yeah. point. Just, don't just eat. Bro, don't. Man, you're gonna wake bro, up with a hangover. Bro, I'm gonna lie, bro. Those are my worst throw up sessions. Yeah, for sure. The late night eating sure. the next day is terrible. It always feels good at the moment, and then the next day you're <laughs> yeah. like, Yeah. Mm. Thanks, thanks, thanks. It's all about back memories. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, thank you guys for give coming. Give it up for Jesus. Woo! I wish you could clap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you, did, you didn't work oh, out. Yeah. Yes, I Maximo did. Said no? it hurt to, to put on his sock this morning. Yeah. Oh, that's This guy fool. didn't work out. That's why he could yes, clap. Yes, I did. Look at he me. Said his, he said, he said my shoulder his arm gave out. Dude, my arm gave out. That's how hard I was going. I'm older. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm older and I went I'm harder. Mature. You did. And now, look harder, at you. and now look at you. <laughs> Waking up <laughs> these muscles, boy. Well, man, shout out Jorge and Jesus for yeah, coming on here. Woo! Jose, that's part. Um, Jesus, Jorge, you're part of the Skinny Club now. Cheers, brother. Yeah. Skinny. Cheers. Okay. Skinny boys. Skinny boys. 2024. <laughs> yeah, he's all chiseled now. Almost, almost. Man. Yeah, woman, if you want to get oh, loose my, weight, my clean that house, girl. 
Add some weights. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's we're gonna take that's, a break. We're that's taking a break. <laughs> And we're back again with, with another stage flip. <laughs> with another stage yeah. flip, you feel me? I got we got healthy food. fools out of here. Now yeah. the toxic. Yeah. We're healthy fools too. We're healthy yeah. fools yeah. all 20, yeah. 2024. I'm committed yeah. to this lifestyle. Bro. All right, chill yeah. out, brother. All right. That was so <laughs> cool having Jorge here. That was the first time he's ever done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Letty. Well, it's his first hey. time in the studio too. I know that was. I, I thought. Yeah. I thought he had been here before. No. Did you ever have Dana here? No, clearly not. <laughs> Catch it, not too far from we here. We have a big ass house. Remember, you guys would try to bring dates to the old office. They oh yeah. Yes, yeah. those scumbags. You guys and Josh. I never did though. Somebody did. I, I never did. did. I never did. I, no, I didn't. I you didn't. wanted to. You I said you were to, driving. I, to. See? I, I thought I drove. We by. don't need to do that. I, I drove feel by. Like Josh did no. I, I yeah. Drove. Josh did. One no, of no, you no. guys and Josh. It, I, Josh got no, picked was, up like a hoe outside for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got picked up too many times. I was like, how many times are you getting picked up here? And hiding it from mom. Yeah. Update on update on our lives. I wanted to tell you guys this about your nephews, Jorgito and Luisito. They start basketball this weekend. Uh, at the YMCA, we're playing in bed. They're gonna be Clippers. Bum. Let's yeah, go. That's, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. that's uh, that's kind of like uh, we got like, the yeah we got the link to get their their, their jerseys their, yeah. and it's Clipper jerseys. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of um Clippers when they first came to Los Angeles, they needed to sell to the people, uh -huh. so they just sponsored a whole lot of gyms everywhere, a whole yeah. lot of outside yeah. and YMCA. Most also. people are usually the Clippers as like their first team as coming up as a youth. That one Stuff right like there. That. Wow, that's why the that's how they got you, Maximo. This so then, what if they get my children? It's oh, what no. if my sons turn Honestly, into Clipper fans? Honestly, I'm a little fans. scared that they're gonna be Clipper fans because, like, they have access to a Russell Westbrook, yep. a Kawhi Leonard. Like, the Back. minute I stepped on the the marathon rug, it's like, oh, boom, a Clipper appears. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Why is he at the club? Like, they're super cool. Yeah. So it's like, how could you not by spending time with them? They're young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't maybe know any Lakers or like, let's, no, let's keep well, it real. Look, a lot of Lakers switch has been switching teams. And so I was talking to this with Jorge. Uh, he, the him and Jorito went to the game of Lakers versus Clippers. Heat. Oh, he, no, he, the he, Heat with man. Triple J. Yeah, with Triple J. Right, and so the the Lakers had lost, and so Jorito was like, okay, but they, my Jorge was cheering for Triple J too. Like, yeah. Yeah. it's cool to see what he's doing. Yep. Um, and then after the game, Jorito's like, all right, let's go. Let's go see LeBron. Like, because he's used to before that, went to a game when Russ was on the Lakers. Yeah. And he got to say what's up and yeah, all of that. Yeah. So Jorito thinks, like, we just do meet and greets after. And then Jorge, <laughs> Jorge's like, hey, I don't have that type of pool with LeBron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know LeBron. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But low key for yeah. real, with the Clippers, if yeah. we were to go to a game and they were to see him, for sure, Russ, like, nothing. And or, then he's going to wear the jersey Harding. when he's balling out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's going to know Harding. And, and Kawhi is yeah. always yeah. a marathon. Yeah. 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 So that's why I want that type of access with the Dodgers. Uh, yeah. You know what? Cause, Honestly, because uh, to be honest, bro, yeah. I, oh, I love that. I want a baseball kid or like, but obviously, like yeah. girls can't play baseball. But even like in ball, Little but... League, like my oldest son did Little League, and I don't know that there was Dodgers. I think he was on the Yankees. Yeah. Uh, like they choose different too. Like they different. have different. What city yeah. did he do it in? In Tahunga. Man, shout out Aiden because Aiden's first uh, baseball team was the Dodgers. The Dodgers. And oh, then and then right. he played yeah. um in Echo Park, obviously. Right off Temple and Glendo. Oh, so everything, and that because it's right by and there. And so the Dodgers sponsor it all. Oh, oh, yeah. in this, whether you play like at Elysian Park, obviously there's other teams. Yeah. Like obviously not every single team could be the Dodgers, but if you play like at Elysian Park or maybe even Northeast LA and stuff like that, everything's most likely gonna be Dodgers out the, oh, the scoreboard. I want that. So I think that's, I think that's the dope. Lakers, problem. why you know, don't you do that? But you know what? Pasadena's not too far, so they might even be Dodger yeah, out. Yeah, I have to look at on that. some of their baseball fields. Yeah. But man, honestly, the, if they were still if they were Clipper fans, I still love them. Yeah, I hope Good. so. Because they're going to be your rich nephews. <laughs> yeah. Are they going to be Clipper fans? Maximo and them are going to be super bonding. Yeah. I know. Yeah, they are. Yeah. No fair. That's okay. fire. That's fire. Yeah. I like so that. that's an update. But we wanted to talk about this. So I sent this in the chat because my Dia sent it to me. <laughs> and she has it, like, framed up. That's sick. It's me. Framed up? Yeah, it's me, my sister, and my cousin. And I promise you, I never got high before. Wait. I promise you. Who's who's on the bottom? Who's That's who's Monica. Bottom? That's not Monica. That's how she was goofy in in. in Damn, she looks lit. Yeah, and I ain't talking about. <laughs> yeah, that, the That's the jaw. jaw. That's, the jaw. That's that jaw. We <laughs> were. Stop it. She was a she was a great Mecha ASB student. She loved watching SpongeBob. Okay, maybe and it we're was just doing, And I think like just the camera caught me crazy. You look high. I look as high. A high. And, and so a lot of times, a lot different highs. Different yeah. highs. <laughs> a lot of times in photos, people are like, "Are you high?" Because my eyes close, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "No, those are my eyes." This is the first photo that I can be like, "Wow, I look high." 
Damn. The other ones, I'm like, that's just how I smile. Your whole family looks high in this photo. Yeah. Well, not my cousin. <laughs> no, not her cousin. So, hey, you know, she... <laughs> Monica! <laughs> Joe! Like, she was making a funny face, you butts. She was... Uh, she was a, was if a, you keep doing this, I'm not going to show you any more photos. No, I can't even do the math like that. You said she was a straight-A student? She's on the right there. ASB, Mecha student. What is Mecha? What is Mecha? Mecha. What's Mecha? You guys... Mecha. What's Mecha? Anybody knows Mecha? No. Of yeah, you're in Mecha. You were, of course, Jaylene was it's in like Mecha. It's like Latino oh, shit. Okay, you don't even got to explain no more. Yeah, like, yes. <laughs> it's her. Paisa. Yeah. Like, they go from Mecha to Me Too real quick. Like, it's like... <laughs> she might as well be Cesar Chavez, fool. Yeah. <laughs> well, shout out Letty for looking high, Monica yeah. looking lit, and your cousin looking happy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great photo. I know, but I'm like, oh, that's... We should get it tatted. Why would have it framed? Oh, that would be a because cool Because it's like, yeah. like it's funny. not the best... Not not. We don't have a lot of photos together. So it's more memories. It's, it's more yeah. of a memory thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Here's something else I want us to react to because the rosca happened this past weekend yeah yeah um, i got the baby i didn't know this was a thing this is a video i believe it's in the costco or in a sam's club of a family getting into it with everybody else because they took all the roscas and everybody's like dog they have this look that's their whole thing full of roscas that's not the display they t and they're all like yelling at them oh, like they took it all it's a nombre yeah Wait, wait, wait. The family has a whole table? The family took it and put it all, put all the roscas in their thing. This food with no swag is in the way. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Hopefully it'll pass by. But it got everybody... Okay, so in Costco, you could get a, like a like a big... Yeah, uh, kind of like... Oh, 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 I see what a you're saying. Thing. Oh, they have and that. that family took all, like most of them. <laughs> They're getting pressed. Yeah. yeah. So people are like, hey, what, can we get one? They're like, no, we're buying all of them. Like why do you what? why do you need to buy a hundred roscas? Probably reselling. Yeah, so it's been a thing that's look, been going look. on. That is crazy. Man, They're the taking girls. all yeah. the freaking roscas. Oh yeah. And everybody, this, then it just starts over. <laughs> but they're like telling them off, like you can't take all of them. Mm -hmm. And clearly, legally, they can. Yeah, legally, but should but it also... be should it be one? You know how with Stanley's, you can only buy two per person. I tried because I want to go to tar Target. Um, <laughs> I've been seeing that. Yeah, but they limit That's people. Smart. Should they limit the roscas like yeah, that? They yeah, yeah, they're gonna try to flip them and resell them. They like are. Jordan? That's the whole point. Those Hell things are nah. not even good. They're not even good. Yeah, I don't the know green. About the I had yeah, like the three different the... ones this weekend. None of them were good. I don't know. I, the one that we get it from, it's in. It's called La Reina. It's really good. We like it. Uh, you gotta recreate this baker, whoever created this. Yeah, because yeah, one, one, it's ugly, like the, yeah. the red no. and green part. Yeah, because it represents. I know what it represents. <laughs> I am a yeah. Mexican man. Are you? It's still ugly. The tres reyes magos and all yeah. that. Yes, yeah. I get it. It still tastes like shit. Yeah, it tastes weird. Yeah. It doesn't have to taste like funny dry. Feeling. It tastes dry and then citrusy, and so that doesn't have anything to do with Jesus. Boyava. How many? <laughs> yeah, how many? I don't really had oranges yeah, in, yeah. in Bethlehem. I've never once been like, hey, let me get a piece of rosca. No, never. never. In my life. You know what it is. Is, I, I had a theory that because it has the stuff of a concha yeah. that our brains think it's going to taste like a Every concha time. and because it doesn't we get disappointed. Yes. Yeah, that's terrible. Terrible. Every time that's I try it. it I'm like this one might be it. It might taste like a regular concha. Always disappointed. Yeah. yeah so you know what? To that family fucking mama huevos. Yeah. It's yeah. not fucked up. Like, yeah, like, like, that's, that's something like that's like an unwritten rule for like yeah. in Mexico they probably would have got killed. Let's just be honest. Like yeah. Yeah. taking all the roscas. No you're right. <laughs> no no because fool like taking all the roscas. It's such, it's yeah. such a, and I know like I mean at least we never really celebrated celebrated Los Tres Reyes Magos. Like I never got extra gifts after getting gifts already. Oh, you're yeah, not supposed they, to get extra gifts. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're supposed to get gifts. Wait, who? You put your little shoe out, and that's where they oh. bring you your little gifts. Gifts. Oh. For real, that doesn't. I'm gonna check gonna my shit in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's the PS5 gonna fit in there? <laughs> but, 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 but 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 yeah, I never really. But I think I think more. I think when like budgets and like obviously your family is not the best. I think the thing is like okay, well who's gonna cook? Yeah. So you oh, know. So yeah. So oh, yeah. The, the, the tamale or certain food. Um, the people we usually do it with, they don't just go strictly tamales, but they definitely like everybody makes their best dish. Yeah. And obviously Salvadorans, like there's a lot of Salvadorans that do it with us, so they Salvadorans don't make the best tamales, so they go straight for the pan well, con pollo. Hold on, why are you just oh, going no, at no, no, Salvi? No, 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 no. You like, just like two days ago, you posted a story on Instagram about pupusas, and you're pupusas. all I love pupusas, no. and, and I'm not talking good? about the food. You yeah. too. But he's talking about tamales. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying tamales wise. Yeah, tamales. I'm, I'm saying like tamales wise. I don't like, have salvi and I don't like it's, tamales it's, either. But that's because I grew up on it, Mexican tamales. But but uh, what I'm saying is like, if yeah. I have a white... Anything that has an olive is... Hypothetically, sp hypothetically Wait, speaking, if I have olive. a white girlfriend and she gets the baby, I'm not expecting her to make tamales. 
you better go make that cop salad the best you ever made it. The cop oh, salad. Exactly. <laughs> For all the people, but you know what I'm saying? Like, so I think um the um, then her sister got it. She did it with my sister and them. Mm -hmm. And I think her and her swagger are making um panes con pollos. Well, see, this is Ooh, the thing. Um, only people that could cook should cut the rosca. <laughs> oh, do you know no. what? Hey, you know what? I'm yes, because you know what ends up? Everyone oh, cuts the rosca, and, I... and Jorge and Jorjito get it, but guess who it's supposed to be? It's me. <laughs> uh, I didn't get the, the fucking baby, let... but you guys did, so now essentially I should have got, just hey, got the baby. The, my mom used to hate it when I used to cut the rosca. She's like, no corte del pinche rosca. Si <laughs> yeah. 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 Del pinche yeah. que no necesita. And it falls on her. <laughs> oh, and just, I'd just be like, I just handed a baby. No stocko. <laughs> no stocko. No stocko. And, and my mom used to be out, so that's why this day I wasn't even there. You didn't yeah. go? No, well, I was still at my homie's funeral that day, so yeah, I, I was out there that day. But, 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 but my mom, my mom was like, I didn't go either. She said, I'm not trying to cook. Yeah. But yeah, man, so if you did get the baby, follow through with these plans, because then you're forever going to be looked down upon. Yeah. yeah. Please. No, man, people forget. That day, I think it's February I feel like 30th. I've never I done the February 2nd party. Mm, yeah. And I'm from in in my place in Guanajuato. They do a festival for on for Virgen yeah. de Candelaria. So it's like. So you guys, please, if you are doing it, the, please follow through with your plans yeah. because if not, you're never forever not gonna be trusted to yeah. follow through when it comes to you cooking something, especially religion wise. Okay. Okay. Now next right. next subject we have to talk about. Do know he put in the chat like this crazy thing that he found out that a girl told him oh, yes yeah, so bro, please, crazy. Oh, yeah, you need like bro, what, were you shocked what happened okay i'm, I'm bro, playing call of mind. duty i'm on facetime you know just chopping it up talking and she's like um how much do you pay for insurance and i was like why and then she was just like oh it's because mine just got updated because where i moved or something like that mm -hmm. and i was like where you moved she's like yeah like if you live uh, in miami if you're florida if you live in the ghetto you pay more because you're more likely to get your car broken into or stuff like that. Yeah, like depending on the And I'm there. like, I'm like, so you're telling me you, that you have to pay more because of where you live. She's like, yeah, and also if you drive a red car. So I'm like, I'm like, this shit, this shit isn't real. So I'm looking this up. I'm trying to figure out where like this is real. I'm like in California, they asked me for my address and they were like, oh, you got to pay more because you live here or this and this. And I'm like, damn, so people just don't pay their insurance over there. Because if imagine you live yeah, in some crazy. like hyper. <laughs> okay, if we're talking California, why Los Angeles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you think that <laughs> like like you didn't know that already? No. That's a thing. Yeah. That and it's not just Florida. In Cal okay, so that's what she was telling me. And I was like, I didn't know that. <laughs> so do you guys He pay told us like, guys, guess what? In Miami, depending on where you live, your insurance right. can go up. So do you so you and guys we all that's like no one responded because it's like, yeah. Duh. <laughs> so you pay, so you pay way less insurance than people that live in South Central. No, I probably pay way more. I live in Alhambra, Pasadena area, That's why. San so you, Gabriel. So you, you, pay, you pay more than that people I live in South Central. I probably pay more. Um, I don't know about South Central. Like I, I put my dad's address because the Hollywood one it just skyrockets. Yeah, because people. Will yeah, that happens the... here too. Do know it's just surprising to us that it's surprising to you. Yeah. Well, because I pay, I pay. I don't live in the best area, and I live yeah. in a pretty busy area. Right, yeah. not too far from a freeway, and I pay good insurance, and I have really good insurance. Everything that it covers, yeah. But and 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 and, for, and I pay for two cars. But it, but if if you were to live in Beverly Hills, it would be a little less. Yeah. Or if you live like uh, certain places in Orange County, it will be cheaper. Because yeah. for a long it'll time, be even less. I used to use an address in Orange County, and I and I paid really cheap. Yeah. Which one? And then she moved, and then we had to give my real address. address yeah. Dog, I I swear to God, I'm I, I I swear to God, it wasn't even that. Like I I never somebody never told me. Damn, fuck. They're not going to tell no, you. But I, I, but I, no, but what I'm saying, I've never heard somebody go like, damn, I got to pay 700 because I live in Watts for like a Toyota Camry. That's it's fucking... not necessarily like that because it's they also, also break it down. Based on the value of your car, too. Also yeah. your age. Yeah. 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 Age. You're going to pay more than we pay. I think I pay less than you guys. How much I don't think you pay, pay that. Can, can we all say how much we pay? Just yeah. like, yeah. Just well, to... I don't know how well, much I, I pay either. I have a big car. She has a big car. I know, yeah. how, I know how much I pay. I have, I pay for yeah, it depends, and yeah. even by like the car color, or whatever. Like we know, like different I, colors. And different. it's also combined with compact. Everybody in your household usually. And and your coverage, if you have full coverage, yeah. or if you have. Uh, Loki, we just yeah, had a laugh attack at, because you were so shocked that depending no, on I, where I, you I, live. Nobody buy a red car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we read it? I will read it. A coupe will charge. Um, it'll be more. Oh yeah, coupe. Cool. Yeah, things like that. That's where you gotta go with the plugs, cause my car was. Supposed to be considered a coupe, but then she finessed it. Like, your car's really under Nissan, so technically you drive a Nissan, even though I drive a certain type of car, but it's yeah. owned by oh. Nissan. Come on, baby. That's why That's why I was confused. That's because the cars that I've had weren't, like, she didn't break it down to this. Because my homie has, 
exchange type of car as me, and he pays more because How the lady, she? the lady and his insurance, and I don't even have a license. Why are you whispering on the mic? You don't have a what? <laughs> license. No, I was telling them because we were laughing at how much you don't know, and I'm like, he's probably the age though right now where he's finding out that. Like we've already been your age where True. we found yeah. that that's, type of stuff just, out. But I like to all the insurance and you guys are pieces of shit. That's fucked up for sure. It is. That's that's super. Like I that's why to I'm, them they'll be like, it's business, baby. That's, well, that's well, you know, a lot of insurance companies stopped insuring cars in California. Yep. Yeah. Because like, of all the they're, they're pulling all their that's business. Jose. Yeah, because of all the... Damn, so, uh, damn, so if you want to sell a car in San Francisco, god damn. Yeah, San Francisco yeah. must be crazy. God expensive. damn, all the bipping. See, but I swear to God, I never knew it was based off your address. I, I think that's a little racist. It's it is. It's super racist, right? Okay, yeah, I just... I don't uh, know. Not, not, it's, not, not, not racist, really. uh, yes, it not racist is. but it's... It's no. discrimination. It's regionist. It's, uh, and that's honestly for them, it's classes. basing... It's classes. Yeah, it's, yeah classes. it's them basing like, hey, in this area, it's more classism? car accidents happen. Yeah. Mm. There's more hazards, mm. so they're more likely to get in an accident, so that's why their stuff is higher. I always thought it was just... I thought it was more based off like... Okay, yeah, the type of car you drive, like how expensive it is. You know, I understand like Mercedes, Beamers. And then when you think about like Beverly Hills, right? You think of like Ferraris, yeah. Porsches, yeah. and all these things. And then I thought it was based off like your car accidents, your own personal car accidents mm -hmm. or your DUIs and stuff like that. Yeah. I never knew it was based off. But you also got it. You're insuring in yourself get... for other drivers too. Because it's not always your, it's your yeah, insuring no, no, you, I, but I, it's I, like the area is more likely that someone's going to crash into me. Yeah, that's a trip. I, I swear to God, I or was like super close. Stuff. Like I was like, oh shit, that's fucking wild. We just thought it was really funny. I thought it was just. I, I, when and I was, how much you drive, all that stuff. Oh yeah, that takes into account. I, I only drive five miles for work. If so anything. does Angie. Yeah, me too. I just drive five. <laughs> <laughs> the OC too. Burbank. Only five miles. I, I work from home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God! I thank God I work from home. Technically, dead ass. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. 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 Well, that was your insurance knowledge for everyone that didn't know. Now, and now you know. Damn, see you guys are being hey, mean but, again. I don't like it. But not being mean. It's cool. It's cool. I thought you were here. Oh, my God. What? So who's this girl? Sensitive. Who's Miami? Somebody's going to benefit from this. Yeah. No, but no. But I just, I, that I didn't know. I was so confused. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck? So then I, 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 I swear to God, I caught one of the homies that lives in the ghetto. And I was like, how much do you pay? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, why? And he's like, I'm like, food. Did he? And he's like, he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. I didn't know the thing. And he doesn't pay that much either. So I guess it's a, the shirt is picks and chooses. You guys are yeah. probably a lot more legit than I am, so. Yeah. Hey, shout out you guys for, you know, paying your, your tax. I pay my taxes, by the way. Very good taxpayer. Yeah, yeah. I'm super on time. You sound guy. like Trump. You know, like, yeah. very good. It's very big. <laughs> but I huge God, crowd. Huge I crowd. The I biggest crowd you've ever seen. No, I know, because yeah. uh, um, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm about to start putting my mom's boss's address. Yes. Why? Uh, Smart. Gain a community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. Smart. You're gonna save okay. a lot of money. Dude. I'm gonna save all my money. Okay, yeah. let's Five save bucks a month. law abiding citizens. Okay, yes. uh, can we do a brown pride real quick? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I really like this guy, Javi. Javi, shout out Javi. Cool. So, Javi started 2024 being on top of Spotify global music charts. Let's go, baby. Yeah, our guy, Mexican American, uh, yeah. he's from Phoenix, and his song La Diabla is like topping the world charts. On Spotify, so big up to you, bro. Shout out him, shout out him because yeah. uh, on TikTok they call him the young boy Gloria Trevi version because of his voice. Oh, That's like a thing, voice? yeah. Well, because he's you know he's young, but he's a guy. Yeah. Gloria but yeah, they say his voice. But yeah. I like the song when he's like talking shit to his ex. Amazing. La victima. Song. La victima. One yeah. of the best songs. I I started listening to all his stuff yeah, and I was like, good. oh, I really like this. He's song. good. He's yeah, good. He's really good. I, I, I want to talk to him. His... Javi, what's up? A lot of people hate on his I voice. Think, uh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah, because it's very different. I think Primo might work with him. You don't like it. No, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, he's good. Who might work with him? Primo. 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 Yeah, Primo works with him a lot. Oh, can yeah. we get some? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, really? I want to read this. This is the fourth time that a song with a Mexican artist has reached number one on Spotify's global chart, following Eslabón Armado and Peso Plumas, Ella Baila Sola, uh, Grupo Fronteras, Un Por Ciento. Un, wait. Oh, yeah, Un Por Ciento. Por ciento. Yeah, Un Por Ciento, yeah. The, the oh, way that just, they spell it, it is yeah, always, yeah. 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 Um, with Puerto Rican rapper, the, Bad Bunny. Oh, rap. How do you say that, Angie? Yeah, Pizarrap. DJ Bisarap. Yeah. Uh, all of that stuff. So shout out to Javi. I really like his music. The Do Not Disturb song. He's um, good. Uh, Ni Paga Renta or something? Yeah, yeah. He... Uh, what's the one? No, it's called something like Sin Paga Renta. And it's funny because he's saying like, you're on my mind. Like, it's like, you're living in my mind rent free. Uh, he's essentially doing a song saying that. He and he speaks kidding. English. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, no, nah, he he's, oh, he's dope. He's dope. And I like how like they all fuck with each other. Like, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of like 
when it comes to a lot of like genre, especially like rap, yeah. you know, there's always like beef. Oh, yeah. When and then, well, and then, there's and then, beef and then too. you know, I'm saying there's beef in the rap. Yeah. Ah, I know the Corrido beef it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But but the Ivan Coronejos, the all them, they always show each other love, support. So I think that's dope. And the kids on TikTok, the Latino kids is taking over with showing love to all these yeah. artists. Like, shout out everybody that I know that makes dope ass TikToks with all these songs and dope. And it's like free promo, but it benefits you as well with yeah. like the amount yeah. of views you get and the love you get. Yeah. And Javi's dope. And why yeah. didn't you ever tell us about him? Javi? Like, I think it's your job. To um yeah. because I listen to It shouldn't to be me that's putting your people up on, on Javi. Yeah. That is very You guys are right? also Mexican? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but this is no, but you're no, 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 but you're yeah. that's your lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with it. I just I don't like all his music. It's, he's not, but I I respect his hustle, his grind, and definitely like like a lot of the shit he's dropping. Yeah. But he's dropping. He's he's coming so fast. He's it's kind of like yeah. It's kind of like with Puzzle Blue Man when he came. He just he was like yeah. taking bam, off bam, on bam, us, bam, and it's yeah. like oh God, let me let me yeah. let me catch yeah. you real quick, brother. Yeah. Like it's kind of like when NBA YoungBoy drops. He drops like thirty albums in one month, and it's like right. I'm trying to yeah. catch this one, yeah. and he. He he had La Victima, obviously, and he went, shout out, good. shout out him, because he went viral for that Capella version with the homie from Augusto Papa, so shout nice. out the boy. So he went viral because they're kind of doing like a genius version type yeah. of thing, but the Latino version. Oh, like breaking and, it down? And I think Javi was on Genius as well. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow. So, you know, so they're killing it and all that, yeah. and then I think he just came super fast. Yeah. He, he was kind of like runner up super the last three months yeah. on like, of when it comes to, obviously we've seen the, Take over from Chino Pacas yeah, and everybody else. Fuerza Regis. But now's his time. It's like... Pluma, and he just kind of came in the race last Bloop. minute. Yeah, yeah, I like La and Diabla. Now, and now it's like, it's kind of like a young man's sport. Yeah. And well, I just love that every couple months, it seems like we have been blessed with like a new superstar mm-hmm. in Mexican regional, or it's like a brand new song. Right. It's just yeah. taking over, not just the Mexican regional charts, like the global yeah. Spotify. Yeah. yeah. And, and his story's kind of crazy. He got in a really bad car accident where they say that he. I think he might have never walked again or he broke like his jar or something. Damn. And there's a video of him like looking Through like the a wire mummy. Head ass? Yeah. yeah. So there's a video of him being like he kinda of damn near looks like a mummy. Wow. He's all super wrapped up and he's playing the guitar still. Damn and it's a lot right. of people that unfortunately like um the homie from Clave Cincuenta, he he wasn't the homie, but I'm just, just the homie. Like I fuck with his music. He passed away of cancer. Mm-hmm. And he was young. He was like the new star coming up yeah. that was gonna come up and he ended up passing away, so to see like, like the young stories. life be able to make it over mm-hmm. shit like that, even like with the Santa, Fe, bro, it's dope. He's they're amazing. Javi's yeah. dope. He's he is. 18. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. He's he's I, booming. Shout out Javi, man. I and I would like to interview. It's funny. I was talking to my nephews. They're 17 and 18, and I'm like, hey, you guys know Javi? I feel trying to be cool. Yeah. <laughs> and they look, and I was like, I like his song. Do you like La Diablo? I was like, I want to interview them. And then my nephew Nico's like, yeah, just don't ask him the same questions everybody asks him. I'm like, what questions? I need to know, because now they watch the interviews on TikTok. They're like, yeah, just every TikTok, they ask yeah. the same yeah. thing. I think. And so it's just like, we when we interview him, we got to ask different questions. Okay? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I and then know. I think that's kind of I think that's yeah. what we did with Danny Lux. <laughs> yeah. To where we made that food do the grito, and he was just like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm like, I really got to be Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That so, was cool. But shout out Javi, because he's, he's dope. And his interviews, he's like full of life. Like, and he fucking he's wants so to dance. He's so young. And he's always his positive, vo- yeah. And his and voice. Is so different. For his voice is damn near old. It's like, a, it's like a little old voice. He has a crazy yeah. voice. That like sounds like Gloria voice. Trevi. Him and Gloria Trevi should get on a track. Probably. Shout out to Gloria Trevi. That was one of my yeah. crushes back in the day. Yeah. Shout out, Javi. Uh, that was Brown Pride, you guys. Woo! Oh, from Brown Pride to... Aw. To so what? Uh, Chavez Jr. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, because... Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. The GOAT. My the GOAT. Let's the had goal. to come out with a statement based off of his son, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And in so many words, he's saying, like, yes, you're like, it's true. My son did get go to jail the other day. Fue detenido y nos encontramos trabajando junto con sus abogados para resol- is it resolver? Resolver. Su situación resolver. jurídica. It says, look, it says jurídica. Oh, it does. Okay, little fuckers. Um, But it's so sad when your dad, El Campeón, has to put out a statement about, like, you're fucking, they caught you with a, uh, they caught him with, like, a ghost gun at his crib. That's not sad. You're dad first. 
Yeah, I know. Before anything. Even... No, it's not about the dad part. It's oh, about yeah. that you put, like, this is what has to happen for you. Like you gotta love dad. your kids for how they are. Yeah, apparently he does. That he love... enough for him. Hey, 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 that fool smoked out, though. Yeah, he uh, Chavez Jr. That fool's doing some, yeah. hey, you know what? It I'll... says this is not the first time people in his, like, circle have been concerned over if he's going to do something to himself yeah. or if he's going to be a danger to others. And that was if the, essentially the call. Like, they were concerned about him, so cops went to go check on him or check on what was happening. They uh, searched his home, and then they found that rifle or the automatic or some some type of gun. Damn. And then it was a ghost gun. It was unregistered and illegal, so that's why he's in jail. You know what's crazy? When I first saw it, they didn't put senior, senior or junior, so I thought the other fool got caught with the gun. I was, like, <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, I was like. The only no. guns he has are his arms, I'm like, bro. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like that fool probably has, like, the, the license for it. Yeah. But, no, then, but, then I, but then I seen it was, I'm like, this fool's going through what, what fucking Trump's going through. You know, Trump's son is a fucking smoker with Who? Uh, Biden. Oh, Biden's son. Biden. Sorry. Like, Biden's son. Who did he say? I said Trump. Oh, yeah. but, but I heard Biden. Trims. No, no, no. I was no. like, is that Tim's? Bi no. Biden's son. Yeah. It's like oh, super yeah. smart Biden. But I just think. Damn, that's crazy. Chavez Jr. is our, 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 our Hunter Biden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My thing is, oh, but, but you know what the problem with it is, is that he box. was trying to live up to that legacy that he didn't really have yeah. in the first. Bro, when he fought Canelo, it was damn near bullying. Yeah. yeah, like it, there was like you're not your dad, fool. You're not your dad. And I yeah. went to his Instagram and I, I was looking at older photos and then I looked at the like the latest one where he's sitting at a table and it's just sad to see. Howdy Junior. Yeah, he just looks like smoked bro. out, like like he's like, even his it? eyes and everything is just yeah. like damn, like bro. Well. Damn. Like you've been through it. either you've been through it or you're going through it, yeah. bro. And that's because of like I feel like like I said he had to bro your dad's a legend. Yeah. A, like arguably the best fighter of all time, right? When it comes to Mexican, at least Mexican boxers, to where like yeah. there's arguments to have between people from the 70s, the 80s, 90s, yeah. the 2000s, yeah. the 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 2020s. You know what I'm saying? Where people would have those arguments, but like, bro, you're over here getting smoked out. Yeah. And, and see the thing with Chavez and like Chavez Jr. in particular, we remember him when his dad used to or he used to come out on the shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, like when oh, during yeah. like walkouts of his father. Um. His big forehead. I and there was he a lot of big ass That's not from drugs. That's just from <laughs> genetics. <laughs> Want to slap it? Just... So yeah. And then, so and... we kind of know him because we know dad so Some much. Grow up. Other times, sometimes juniors, you just see them pop up or whatever, right? Yeah. But I this kid, like, we saw him, like, Chavez namesake. be so, yeah, uh, like, embraceful yeah, of yeah. his son. And just it happened. Yeah, I hope he gets the help he needs, you know, because it seems like it's. Where do you get caught in, in, he's in LA? That for a while. Yeah, out here. Oh, yeah. with a ghost gun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have money. He'll get a yeah, yeah, little yeah. reject. But he might have to oh. do some rehab. Oh. A lot yeah. of rehab. Damn, but what is. <sighs> yeah. It's, 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 it's probably like has a lot to do with like maybe like mental health shit where he's like, damn. Or he's probably just a lit ass fool. And he's yeah. out here thugging in the streets with a ghost gun. Yeah, a veces es son cabrones. Yeah, yeah, they're like knuckleheads. You know? yeah. 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 So you get all the lifestyle without having to put in the work of that lifestyle. Yeah. Because your dad did. So then, come <sighs> I, on. I get what you're saying. I get what a you're veces, saying. So. Damn. What, what would be your solution? What should we, what should us, the Brownback team, suggest for him? <laughs> Don't do drugs. Don't smoke scante. <laughs> I forgot to meet Little Mr. E from us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys, so there's this trend on TikTok. And 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 I don't oh, even know if it's a trend. But it's just no. but it's just people that are on like, can you put the volume? Jose? ¿Qué es esto? So there's this well, thing. This is scary. Okay, let me okay. So watch just watch, watch the video. And you know what? We haven't can we, Why are you uh, laughing, Aileen? Jeff, how accurate is this? Or no, um, LV. LV, how <laughs> accurate they, is this? Because they've been in the Navy. A yeah. LV, how accurate is this? Accurate. Like the North Sea shit. I don't think that. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, well, LV, Not damn. Bad. Okay, you guys. Okay, so pause it. So there's this trend on TikTok. I don't know how. Why is this funny? Okay, so well, I'm just laughing because he's like, I don't know. I've never been on a ship. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you guys why. So let me tell you guys why. I want to tell you guys why. Okay. So. Lately on my TikTok, all these videos of like the North Sea shit come out, which is like, I'm guessing like for like a uh, fisherman or like, it's like one of the most seas where like the the waves and the climates are like very unpredictable. So it's super wild. Where's the North Sea? It's because there's a year long uh, cruise ship now that's available. So people are like, 
Can let me break it down. Can I break it down? Can I break it down? Well, I don't. I'm confused. Okay, so I'm saying, so let me relax. I'm trying to explain it. Germany. Okay, so there's the North Sea. It's like us, like you know how we have that like in the ocean. Point is, there's like this whole well, thing on TikTok. The Atlanta Ocean. The Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean. Oh, I heard Atlanta. <laughs> I'm getting bullied again. No, you're not. So there's, so there's so there's just so there's this like part where they like they go on these ships and they just record how crazy the waves are and shit like yeah. that. But for some fucking reason, it's been taking over TikTok. Like the sound, that sound is like yeah. it's just been taking over. Like people just use it for everything. Like they'll be at the beach. And then, um, oh, so, okay. so it's just like a super takeover. So it's less about the video and more about no, the sound. No, but originally, taking over. yeah, it started as that. It, which it is, started as the the C thing, and then yeah. people are taking that sound and putting it on like yeah, eating but it, cereal. But or it's something. like no, 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 no. So it's like a super takeover. Obviously, like the fishermen, they're recording the crazy when they're fucking rescuing these big ass ships, and the waves are fucking going over the whole ship. Yeah. And it just for some reason, people were saying that it was like a hack to where it's like took over all of TikTok algorithm. So everybody was just doing it. Everybody uh, was just seeing the takeover. And then they added the song to it. And people were like, bro, I never want to go to the ocean. This has been scaring me. So it's been like a takeover. But now, like yeah, and then, con- but, like then, but then now it became funny to where, like, people are putting their boats in, like, their little fist tanks. And they just put the song and the boats are going crazy. And I'm like, bro, this shit is sick. And now I'm scared to go to sea because of this TikTok. You're so cute. I never want to go. Your little algorithm is terrifying. so entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Are you saying so it's, cute. like, kind of conspiracy yeah. when you say takeover or... Or you just you just mean it's getting popular? I don't know why. Somehow I never watched a sea video in my life, and out of nowhere, there's <laughs> fucking there's up. fucking fools falling off the ship, and like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, uh, and that then, is crazy. And my brother-in-law has a cousin that her man is in the navy, and he's like in all these like he's actually on the ship and he's doing all these things, and they have this fool and they send this for all these memes about like the the North Sea and shit like that. I, I get where. Okay, so uh, th- my conspiracy brain. It, it worries me because like you're a big figure on TikTok, so I yeah. feel like what if like TikTok is feeding you? Remember when all your thing was North Korea? Yes, that's weird. Yeah. But that's also because he Google's North Korea. No, d- d- he no, just, yes, he, he you Google it, yeah, or it came to you. First. And it was your man's it, birthday two days ago or yesterday. <laughs> did you know that Kim Jong Un? Yeah, I found the email that for he didn't reply. Mm-hmm. Your, your fearless leader. My fearless leader is crazy. <laughs> but shout out the North. No, team. but I get you. I, yeah. That because he's influential. Because he's such a big influencer. Yes. And then all the people that are watching and listening now know about That's that. That's what I'm saying. And they didn't before, just like we didn't before. Yeah, keep yeah. your but third it's eye open, because, brother. Hey, how about you don't share what's on your algorithm? The North Sea is taking over, brother. I don't know what it is. I want to <laughs> visit it. This is like, did you guys, oh, this is like a deep cut, but did you guys watch The Simpsons when they did the boy band? When it was like in sync? Super deep cut. Oh, super but deep I'm, cut. With you, I'm with you, I'm with you. But like basically they were singing a song and it was in sync or whatever, but they did like Eva Netniage and it, backwards it was join the navy and so it was like it was meant by like to influence the kids and that's how jeff and lv went to the <laughs> <Yvonne Netanyahu. laughs> i now i now want to join the navy because yeah. of the north sea let's join let's join brown bag backwards we need to do that uh, yeah, didn't. i feel like you think, do that in your brain it's, it's, it's probably like it's gab, gab, gab gab i don't know Nor- Nor- gab brown gab 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 nor norb dub the Stop. North Sea. Nosh. No. Nosh. You guys sound so Gab, <laughs> Norb, Nosh. The North Sea. No, Join. It... Join Brown Bag. Yes. Join. Nosh. No. Join is Nosh. Backwards. Yes. Norb. Yes. Nosh. Yes. Ivan Net Niash. Yeah. Yeah. Nosh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. Ivan Net Niash. That's Join the Navy. That's Join the Navy. No, join this the one. Navy. But Gab. Norb, Gab, Norb, Gab, Nosh, Nosh, Gab, Gab, Nosh, Gab, Nosh, Gab, Nosh. At our next live show, Gab, Nosh. Join the North Sea. No, stop with the North Sea. Going to the Navy, bro. Bro, that's all I watch now, and 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 now I watch like. That's a problem. And then and then for some reason, my YouTube started coming out. And look, I feel like those videos are not scary because that's like okay. They're at sea. No, that's fucking scary. Yeah, yeah storm is out in the You've never seen scary. like a, uh, I don't know, like well, Animal Planet or like, no, 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 like I feel like you wanna know why it's scary. Or when the fools no. go out fishing. Okay, listen, you wanna know why it scared me why? even more? Why? You wanna look, 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 this is some vicious shit. Look right here, look. Oh shit! The North Sea brothers coming. No, it's, it's coming. just the water got you know on why? their boat. Hey, you know what scared me even more? Oh. That that the oh. minute the North Sea started happening, the OC got flooded and people got injured. Oh, in Ventura. It's fucked. 
the Norchies coming everywhere. It's gonna be the Norchie yeah. everywhere. Yeah, but they wouldn't, go to, the they wouldn't go to the OC. And, 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 no, they wouldn't. They'd save the OC. They'd hop over the OC and somehow the way would land into South yeah, Central. Well, somehow, <laughs> like, it would be, yeah. and, and, you know, bro, yeah. and, and you know what one of those crazy shit? I remember reading this book called then they not Like that feels like okay, yeah, I get it. Like that's that's, that's, that's terrifying. Yeah. That's no, it's yeah. terrifying. But it's not like uh, out of this world. Like yeah, yeah. that feels Previous, like they go through that. Previous yeah. to this video, I still would have go to the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah regardless. Right? Yeah. It's not this video did not do anything that I wouldn't already not do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now I didn't want to go to Santa Monica. I don't even know if I would go on a cruise <laughs> if i can't see the shore i don't want yeah. to go yeah. unless the cruise wants to sponsor this podcast then actually then we are, nah, we are there. there you might be on your own on that one buddy <laughs> yeah you know how to swim i don't know that's food yeah. swimming in the ocean and swimming in the pool are a million times Sha- different. and you know what's crazy there's people that yeah. watch that like i can't wait to go out again i know and they're probably yeah. white yeah. yeah like that's their thing oh, like all those fools yeah. probably would always go back Whoever's TikTok this is that we're logged into, your algorithm is not the North Sea as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, now that you've gotten us all paranoid with the North Sea, do know. Oh. And now it's probably all over our TikToks. Yeah, thank you. Add something to about that's on your algorithm to do know's TikTok. What's in your algorithm right now? Angie, body shapers. I saw, oh, yeah. I saw you're getting a lot of paha I have one on right now. <laughs> ah. ah, whoa. Uh, whoa. What? what am I getting? What am I getting? What'd you say? I was in, we weren't uh, even talking uh, to you. God. Like what? Which I, you're we're talking judging about, me. I wasn't. I was looking at Vic. No judging 2024, guys. This is my algorithm right oh. here. Hong Kong. BBLs? Hong Kong? <laughs> Hong Why Kong is that your algorithm? algorithm? I don't know. Like TJ Hong Kong or Hong Letty, Kong? Letty, is your like boxing and Kong. kids? No, mine is like really weird stuff. Like DIY oh, stuff. Oh no! This is look, look at this. This, this is a uh, kid, Meech. He's so funny. He cooks with Casamigos. First thing you want to do is take your lobster and crack that bitch open with a little more pasta and the fucking vibe. <laughs> your bitch is cream. Add it in the vibe. That's what goes on in my TikTok. That's what I'm gonna be honest. It's, it's a lot of slander. Yeah. I just I, I get a lot of North Sea, and and mic'd up sports people. Mic'd up? Oh, yeah. So like, when they mic up, like the, oh, like okay. e- even like in relation to this pod, you know, what I'm saying for Letty, uh, I I get a lot of when when Caleb and and Canelo were fighting, he's like, "You're good, you're good too," and like he was like giving his problems while beating his ass. <laughs> I get a lot of that, or or I get a lot of like soccer players that are mic'd up. I like watching like like the upcoming. Yeah. So there's this kid from like uh, Philadelphia that he's dope. And they like mic him up or high school kids, and he's like, "Get the fuck off me!" Or they're arguing with the ref, or like, mm-hmm. I get a lot of like arguing with the ref, mm-hmm. NFL, basketball, LeBron, or even like, I just get a lot of sports mic yeah. up, sports mic up stuff, um, some water polo highlights, some bitties, and the North Sea a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so mine's really like North Sea sports vibes. Okay. Well, now it's on all of ours because you just said it into our phones and our ears. Yeah. Our it's bahas, bahas, bahas. Or, get ready for the North Sea, you guys. Uh, <laughs> we might. What's it called? We might want to go to the North Sea. Why would never. we? Never. I would never go to the North no. Sea. No. Bro, it's scary. I jumped in the Salvadorian Sea. It, oh, was, yeah. it was calm. Oh, he did go. Swang from a vine. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for t- tuning in. El Tarzan. Hey! El Tarzan right yeah. here. Woo, woo, woo. We love you guys. Shout out to the North Sea. Shout out to the North Sea. Shout out to Pod. If you're looking for merch, me and Duno are wearing brown yes. bag hoodies. Make sure yeah. you grab them. They sold out at our live show. Yep. And I had to restock them. Restock. Back. And I had to bring them back Damn, in brown. I didn't, even, I didn't even know we had that. Version. This color is. Yeah, no, that's fire. I'm a hey, and what's crazy that Letty is wearing like the exact shoes to match it. Dude, and yeah, the she sweat. Has the whole... And the sweats. That's crazy. Well, stop. No, I'm, I did. I meant that for. Oh my God. What is going to come <laughs> running in here? <laughs> 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 just <jumps> over. Yeah. <laughs> Sprinting. <laughs> Over like that one dude that attacked the judge. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> can we talk to real quick before we no. leave, bro? You're the one that has to leave. This fool yeah. has hops. I just checked. We uh, it's, it's only 15 minutes out, so we're good. Okay. Dude, this fool has hops. How did he jump over like that? Oh no, we have to talk shit to Michi Chewy. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are they? <laughs> Don't forget. Oh, yeah. hey. Get over here. Hey. Get over here. Mike, whichever one wants you. Now we love you. We thought we were. Do you guys love us? Yeah, we love you. I don't know if you of do. Course. I don't know of course. If you, <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. you guys have been with us since episode ten. Yeah, shout out you guys. Yeah, you yeah. Guys have, came through, offered your services. You guys are always supportive. That's why we and, love you guys. Yeah, you guys even have your own merch, and we, we would wear it, and it was so fun. It's like family. 
Yes, like family. Yeah, la we familia. Yeah. We yeah. thought, la, la familia. familia. Yeah. 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 At that least we thought, right? Let yeah, me. at least we thought. At least we thought. Because I don't think family would be left out of something that we were left out of. <laughs> we were definitely left Chewy. out of. Chewy. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. <laughs> over, over the holiday break. And we have seen you, because Loki, we could have seen, like, we saw him at the live show. Did he yep. tell you about it? He definitely no. not. Did he tell you? Did he tell you? Nope. I saw it on Instagram. Yeah, I saw it on Instagram, too. So yeah. I was uh, sad as well. Like a normie. So Chewy. Like a normie. <laughs> you proposed... To Darla. I did. Darlene. Dar D. What is D it? Darlene. 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 You Darlene. proposed. Congratulations. So, uh, Thank you. But we were all stunned that none of us were there. Like, we none were, of us. We were so mad. Ooh. None of us. You know how close my dad lives to Norwalk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do not throw his La Familia hat. I don't know. Hey, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? The group chat was like, Food, did you guys know about this? And we're we're like totally feeling bad that maybe yeah. somebody, maybe you told somebody and they didn't tell right. us. And now like, we're like maybe asking. Maximo just dropped the ball and didn't tell us. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or or, or, or it was on New Year's Eve and you guys were gonna be with your families, but uh, bro, what <laughs> you are <laughs> La Familia. Yeah. You're La yeah, Familia. You're our family. family. Well, you but you've been at so many of our family <laughs> parties. True, you're at Lil Vic's birthday. Yeah, yeah, and that shit was lit. That yeah. shit was lit. You were at my birthday. You were at Vic. Uh, yeah, a lot of the kids' birthdays all the time. But we weren't at your guys' future life birthday. Day. Yeah, <laughs> and I am sad, but and we're gonna. What's it called? We'll take it to the chin. Yeah. What? Well, and then, Darla, you didn't even like do this photo and send it to the chat, but you could have sent it to us. <laughs> I, I bet you sent it to your homegirls, but I bet you maybe I'm just not your family. Yeah. No, no. Um, this is the ring, but I haven't gotten a magic. Did you know it was gonna Chewy's happen? A rich homie. I had. You know, I know everything. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I didn't know this. Oh. <laughs> I did not know this. He got Damn. me good. He got me good. It Bro. was really nice and, and special. Yeah. Wow. Don't yeah. don't, don't yeah. blush. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Do you guys have a date for like when you're gonna get married? So we know uh, to At check least. if we get invited. <laughs> you are. You guys are gonna get invited. You yeah. Know, it's yeah. You know, I'm not just saying that to say that because when we uh when we started the whole business like. Oh, we're like, and then we make you guys were like, hey, we're gonna invite him to the wedding one day. So I'm not just no. saying this yeah. because you weren't there for the proposal, but for the wedding for sure. Let's yes. go. Can, yes. I a, can I get a plus one? To be like, hey, La Peda before what? Can I get a yeah. plus one? La Peda before the wedding. Yes. Um, oh. Um, but the wedding is cool. I'll go maybe if I'm busy. But I do want to go to your bachelor. <laughs> I do want to go to your bachelor no, party. Yeah. 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 Can no. I run it? Can I run it? Can I run it? <laughs> <laughs> We, we call them to do the drinks for their own bachelor, right? Bachelorette. <laughs> Wait, who's going to serve drinks at your yeah. party? Hold on. How your okay, wedding. obviously you guys been together for how long? Shots. How, two, how long have you guys been together? Uh, seven. Don't seven years? look at her. You're going to make them get <laughs> no, 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 broken no, no. up with. No, I'm saying. No, sabe. No, I'm saying how nervous were you still? Like, asking the girl that you've been with, you have a whole business, you guys obviously are happy, have a future. How nervous were you still to, be, you know, get on a knee and like, would you be my wife? Uh, I was very nervous, and then uh, you're nervous now. Yeah. We're not even yeah. getting married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think like talking to Same. her dad and even my mom, they're both more like the strict one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But it was coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was time. It's time. Oh, That's yeah. awesome. No, nah, he's so in love. That's I so fucking want, bro. Me, bro. You, I want that. Bro, fucking yeah. me and Vic envy you, dog. Yeah, Whoa. just know, just know, just know. We don't want to be outside. Yeah. yeah. You know, we have to be. No, we. Oh, we spring friends oh. now. Well, I thought we were, you just spoke for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Wait, you do know you what? have a date or anything? Mm, Are you thinking about it? Thinking about it. Oh, okay. I left it up to her, but. Yeah. Oh. No. I don't know. To, it's up yeah. to yeah. Yeah. That's That's got a backyard in Norwalk. That's all that matters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how I'm going to be. I'm going to be like, I'm going to propose, but you figure it out. Yeah. Figure out the rest. Yeah. Like, Tell me when to show up. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot that we want to do with our business. So right now I'm thinking, like, oh, like, should we do it like sooner mm -hmm. before it gets hectic? Or, oh. or like a while, yeah, like not that long of a while, but it, I, I figured if we plan to open up a spot, it's yeah. gonna get crazy. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah. So damn, marriage it might be awesome. sooner. Dog, yeah. marriage looks so happy. <laughs> Fuck, I fucking hate this. Shit. I feel like they have a date. They're just not telling us because no. they're not <laughs> inviting us to <laughs> it. Let the let the um. Sometimes what? it doesn't even feel real. Like I, I, it's oh. like not oh, real. Oh. Like, oh. Not, oh. not like it's um. Damn, love is I, I have it's like a me. dream come true. Yeah, it's like sometimes I, I look down and I'm like, we, we just got back from Cabo and I didn't take my hey. room because I have to get it uh, sized or whatever. Yeah. I got to get it a little bit bigger. But um, I like I was. You were like, oh, fuck, I'm a fiance. Yeah, I'll be like, I'll be like, oh, shoot, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I got my ring. Damn, oh. that's amazing. 
Oh. Dude, let these like yes, love, love is I winning love this it. year. Yeah. You know what? You know That's what? It. We, we no, have like we have like no a lot ball. of things we want for the pot, and love is one of them. You know, this year, you know, me and Vic went through a lot of breakups. Yeah. You know, Letty's tired of us, you know, being just, you know, she wants us to be loved like how she's loved. Oh, my yeah. God. Yes, I do want that. And, and cause, because Maximo's loved, Angie's yeah. loved, 2024. Um, LV and, and, and uh, the whole team is loved. And me and Vic, we're not loved. I know. No, you're loved. You just choose okay. many. Yeah. Okay, you know what? You're yeah. right. It's a you problem. It's, it's not a, the girl's problem. It's because I internal. can't choose A, B, or C. I choose D, all the above. All the above. Okay. Well, but, but not anymore. Not, congratulations to Chewy yes. and to Darla. Thank we you. love you guys so much. Let the, let the we are as, just know we're as happy for you as someone yes. in your family would be. Yes. Let the Maximo, yeah. do you guys have you guys. any advice for them? New fiance. Oh, you're yeah. California married. Oh, yeah. You guys have any advice for the fiance That's stage? That's a good one. Yes, yeah. invite me. <laughs> that's, not, that's not advice, bro. That's you have a very I want to do a speech at the play. You, you have a very we'll long. It. Oh my god, let Maximo marry you guys. Oh, oh yeah! He has, he, has, he has the yes! really? certificate. Yes, yes he really? has it. Oh you know what? God. You yeah. know what? We'll I'm marry, the whole I'm marry shit. you right now. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> you want your way to quick? Let's do it. Like, this would be the perfect couple to do it. Oh, no. Yes. Like, oh, he really why, 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 does he, why does he walk around I know. With why do you walk around with it? How many people do you marry a day in California? Just in yeah. case. There's, look, they're yeah. so red. Here's my license. Look, yeah, that's his grab license to marry. Bro, like, grab it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Here's my God. certificate. Yeah. Oh, show the camera. Show the camera. Oh, my, oh. oh, my God. That is hilarious. Hey, you want to be the witness, Duno? I'm going to yeah, find yeah, this I'm up right now. Write it. He literally could marry you right now. Oh, right Maximo now? Maximo, go marry them. They want to invite their whole family. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Where, where? I'm hey, they missed out on the proposal. <laughs> <laughs> we missed out on the proposal. They're going to miss out on the marriage. <laughs> 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 With the power invested in me. Hey, hey, hey. Jimmy and Darla's family are just sucking it. Yeah. <laughs> sucking it. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know how we feel. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, oh. for, for any advice for them as fiancé stages? I was in fiance stage for like two weeks. <laughs> yeah, we got married like right after he proposed. But that's because of the, los papeles. Los papeles, yeah, los papeles. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, man, I'll, I'll bullshit aside, we're super happy for you guys. Yes. Like, Thank you. Thank because, you, guys. I'll because we you definitely met you, we met you guys damn near fucking two years ago. Yeah. And yeah. we seen you guys grow. You guys, bro, we saw you guys at a group of Frontera after party. Like, I know. And we're like, hey, we know you guys. Yeah. yeah, we saw you guys at, at um, your Halloween party. That's yeah. where I saw them. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. All the nah, they're shit. working. They're working all the time. It's beautiful to see building And, your you know, they finished business. school. Oh, you guys, you guys finished, finished already? school. That's yeah, awesome, it's, man. Yeah. This man, is, this is man. a brown pride right here. Yeah, brown pride. Brown pride. Brown pride. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, Maximo, hit it. Get them married. Go, go, go. Yeah. The power invested in me in the state of California. The power of Jesus Christ. Lord, love. You are now. Hey, Darla, 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 hey, Fuck you and your bitch. What about Vic? Oh, oh. Hey, shout out Vic. Let me give me an essay. You feel me? And Angie. Give me an essay. And the whole shout crew. The and the watch. Shout out everybody in the back. We in here. Fuck you. And the no. ceviche your mom makes. No cap. <laughs> and your rosca you ate this year. Ours was okay. better, even though ours was trash, it, too. <laughs> and shout out me to Chewy for love. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we, had had a, we had a very mature pot today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool.